out of pocket, because I swear for my pencil and my pen. Why'd you bring that? Okay, Bismillah oh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Amma ba'd, assalamu alaykum everyone. Uh, today our job is to start with review. How was homework, you guys? Alhamdulillah, it's yeah. pretty easy. Yeah? Yeah. Hopefully. I thought it was pretty easy too. Yeah. We'll start with some homework. Get okay. get some of that review in. Um, I'll take some of your questions. Joel hasn't joined us yet. I'm not sure why. Maybe he didn't get my message on the, uh, the URL. But inshallah, he'll be joining us soon. Uh, in the meantime, I'll keep an eye on the contact uh, on the on the messages, and see what you guys come up with with questions. Uh, there's a question about misr, which is a complicated answer. Misr? That's that we're going to do a little bit later. But I I remember yesterday somebody asked about ayat, and I said we'll talk about that first. Madaika yeah. and ayat. Madaika yeah. we talked about that yesterday, but we'll go over that again. Ayatun. So yeah, let's do that. Okay. So let's start with ayatun, and then we'll do other stuff. Okay. Ayatun. You know what ayatun means? Ayas of the Quran. Uh, yeah. Well, the translation of ayah can be ayas. Like if you have like a an American friend, it's like, what is ayat? You're like, <laughs> you know, like ayas of the Quran. <laughs> You're like, oh, I get it. Let's just finish our pizza. No. <laughs> well, uh, so what would ayat mean? I, I like to translate ayat as miraculous signs. signs. Yes. I know that's a big word, but that's what I like to translate uh, ayat as. And the Qurans, you know, they they say the Bible has verses, right? Oh, yeah. Um, and so some, sometimes people translate the you know the lines or the sent, the statements in the Quran, uh, the ayahs in the Quran, they translate that as verses of the Quran, mm. right? I don't like the translation verses. Yeah. Um, the reason I don't like it is because that's how the Bible describes its verses. Yeah. Also, you may know that songs and poetry, they say they have verses in them, yeah. right? So, mm -hmm. And the Quran is not, Allah makes a pretty sh strong statement. He says, this is not poetry at all, yeah. right? So if you call it verses and it kind of even sort of sounds like it might be mm -hmm. poetry, that's, you know, to me, like, it's, like, offensive to the Qur'an. Okay. Plus, the, the word ayat is never used in Arabic literature. Like, before Islam, the Arabs never used the word ayah for a verse. Oh, okay. So why should we translate ayah as verse when the Arabic doesn't even do that, right? Allah came up with a new definition. Mm -hmm. um, books are made up of... Sentences. Yeah. And sentences are made up of paragraphs. Mm -hmm. And paragraphs are made up of chapters. Yeah. Uh, and chapters are make, make up books, yeah. right? So let's, let me help you think about that for a moment. Um, so you've got uh, words, and the bigger thing is sentences. Then you've got paragraphs, right? Mm -hmm. And you've yeah. got chapters. And then finally you get books, mm -hmm. right? Words come together, make a sentence. Sentence come together, paragraph. Paragraphs, paragraphs come together, chapter. Yeah. And so on and so forth. But in the Quran, this is re your normal books. That's how books are, yeah. right? In the Quran, words come together. Sometimes, sometimes it's not even words. Sometimes it's letters, yeah. like alif lam mim. Yeah. That's not a word. Yeah. Those are just letters. Mm -hmm. uh, and letters can become an ayah. So alif lam mim is a whole ayah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's not even a sentence. Yeah. And that's not even words. Mm -hmm. That's just letters. Yeah. Right. Then um, it could be that a sentence is actually an ayah. Yeah. That could happen in the Quran. It could also happen that a par a word could be an ayah. Like Ar Rahman. Allah's name, right? Ar Rahman yeah. is ayah number one of Surah Al Rahman. Ar Rahman. And Allah Al Quran, which is a sentence, is the next ayah. Yeah. Right? So letters could be an ayah, sentence could be an ayah, word could be an ayah. Um, then, uh, 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 you know, sentences or part of a sentence could be an ayah. Mm -hmm. You know, in Fatiha we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Yeah. What's the next ayah? Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim is not a sentence. It's part of a sentence. Yeah. It's part of the previous sentence, but it's an ayah by itself. Yeah. Right? So part of a sentence could be an ayah. And then uh, a bunch of sentences bunch of sentences could be an ayah mm -hmm. so it could be like 
three sentences together are an ayah. Yeah. That can happen. And a huge bunch of sentences, like a paragraph, mm -hmm. could also be one single ayah. Yeah. That could happen too. So, is it okay to call an ayah a sentence? No. No. That's just one kind of ayah. Yeah. And if we say ayah is a verse, well, some verse, a verse is not a paragraph. Right? Yeah. So, you, you can't really put it in any kind of word or any kind of term that we use for other books. So, it's like Allah came up with His own standard for a book. Yeah. And that's to say that this book is not like any other book. Yeah. Okay. You guys had a late night last night? No. No. I went to sleep really early. Yeah, I went to sleep before him. What time? Um, I think it was like 10.30. Ten jumps, both of you. Ten jumps? Go. Okay. Do it. Come Let on. the blood flow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. You broke something. You broke campus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now come back to the word ayatun. Yeah. Let me show you something that I didn't show you before. Ayatun. Ayatan. Ayatin. Right? Mm -hmm. That's one ayah. Mm -hmm. Ayatani. Ayataini. Ayataini. So we made the, the, the night and the moon into two ayahs. And the word Allah uses in that ayah is what? Two ayahs. Two ayahs. Ayataini. Okay. Then you've got ayatun. Sorry, I can go up here. Ayatun. Ayatin. Ayatin. Right? Yeah. That would be the plural. That would be the plural. Yeah. Now, there's something new that I want to tell you about this plural. This is a question I never asked you before. Whenever you saw this kind of plural, we used to call it the plural feminine group. Yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. That's And that was done. Yeah. Now we know it's plural and feminine, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a new question to this group mm -hmm. that I'd never added before. Okay? The new question I'm adding to this group is... Let's see... A little smaller. Okay. I'm going to add the question is it human or non human? Well, wait a second. You only used to ask about the human and non human with broken plurals. Yeah. I barely got over that. I was almost hospitalized because of it. And now you're saying human and non? Yes, I am. There are two kinds of words, two kinds of plurals, where actually you're supposed to ask about human or non human. You never ask it for una, ina, ina. Yeah. They're human anyway. And that includes men and women. Mm -hmm. So if a word is in plural because of una, ina, ina, it's the two main kinds of plurals are either broken ones or atun, atin ones. Mm -hmm. Right? And atun, atin can be used for humans, like muslimatun, kafiratun, alimatun. It can be used for yeah. that. But it can be used for things that are not human, like ayatun or samawatun, which means skies. Yeah. Right? So we do have to ask that question, human or non-human. So... What's the answer here? Uh, Miraculous signs. This would be non-human, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is crazy. Remember how you used to get two answers? Yeah. When did you get an two answers? When it was human or when it was non-human? Uh, whenever it was human. Right. Whenever it was human, you would get? Two answers. Two answers. When it comes to atun, atin, atin, you only get two answers when it's non-human. Non-human, okay. The crazy thing is this time, you're going to get two answers, but they're going to be when it's non-human. Uh -huh. So is this non-human? Yes. Yeah. So non-human, the answer is going to be, well, it came from the plural chart, so it's going to be plural feminine, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But they'll say, uh, you can also do singular feminine. Yeah. Okay. Atun, atin, atin. If it's non-human, you could get two answers. Yeah. You could get plural feminine, or you could get singular feminine. Yeah. Uh, Jawad's still not on. Let me just make sure that he's okay. So give me a second. I don't want to call him and then like call him on the internet. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you guys for a second.
Okay, so he'll join us when he'll join us. He hasn't picked up yet. I hope he's okay, inshallah. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to read some comments. You guys will help me. Okay. Yeah? Uh, homework, page 13. Easiest was hard for me. The easiest was hard for me. What's oh. the gender? Uh, okay, we'll get to that. Al-Yusra. Oh, Al-Yusra? Yeah. Okay, 14. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Ustaz. Okay, wa alaikum salam. Seek Allah, ya. <laughs> Yeah, plus Ani as well. Why are you talking about yeah plus Ani? We're not even there. <laughs> you know what? Is Atun Atin Atin? Let me, let me start over. Everybody, is Atun Atin Atin clear to everybody? Like That's what I just thing. did. Yeah. What I just did. Are you questions about this? You can ask questions about your feelings and about what happened, you know, when you were eight years old. And your grandma didn't give you the same amount of ice cream that she gave to your brother, and you felt like she loves you less, and all that. We could do that later. But right now, is atun atin atin clear? Yeah. So we should. Let me see. Like, we should yes. Say the thank word. you. Thank you. Now we can go on to your questions. And as we go on to your questions about other stuff, that's the thing. Khud ma like guys. First, hold on to what is in front of you. Let me give you an analogy. This is not because I'm annoyed, because I want you to learn these things. Not just Arabic, class manners. Class manners are, and when you have a kid, mm -hmm. you give them a plate of food, and everybody's sitting on the dinner table, everybody's got their food in front of them, and the plate is full. They wanted, you know, this, this, this. They got four things on their plate. And they're like, ah. <laughs> and their shirt's getting their food on it. <laughs> Wait, can you just stop? Can you just finish what? Okay. Eat what is what? There. The mom says, the mom says, eat what is in front of you. <laughs> right? Yeah. Focus on what's in front of you, and then we can do the other stuff. We will do the other stuff. But if you keep doing, what about question 14 on page? Then the thing I'm talking about, you won't focus on. Mm -hmm. So when that comes up, then that'll be far away. Yeah. They'll be, what about that used to be on the plate, but now it's not? So... So therefore, when we're on one thing, make sure you're on it and then move on to something else. Okay. Otherwise, your mind will be all over the place. You go, you drive yourself crazy. You don't want to drive me crazy. I'll just be entertained because in my mind, this is what you're doing. So that's <laughs> it's entertaining for me. It's pure entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What page did I give you for homework? Uh, that page. 11? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't no, give no, you no, no 11. We did 11 together. Yeah, we did 11 together. It was the other one. Yeah. What's, a, what's the other one? Gender. Gender. Oh my god, you can't say the page number, can you? Is it haram? Uh, there's no page number. There's no... You need to write page numbers on your thing. <laughs> well, or re-download it, because this one has oh. page numbers. It's 12. It's actually 13. It's 13. Okay. Yeah, stop. There's a page before it, then... Oh, okay, we did this already in class, right? Guys, many of these questions we did in class before. Actually, almost all of them we did in class before. So let's take the hardest one, Al Malaika. Okay, everybody, Al and we'll we'll talk about that one, and then we'll come back and see if not. Then I'll take numbers from you, whichever numbers you want to go over. So let's do Al, Al Malaika. Which which number is Al Malaika? Uh, it's on the second part. Yeah, it's on the second, second part. One, yeah. two, three. It's four, on the second four, column. Yeah, it's the seven. It's the seventh. Oh my God! Look at look at all this. Look, look at all this, this artwork I did on here. You can just press the trash thing. Backspace. Okay. Al Mala Ika U Ika Two. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, I should combine the Hamza. Because I can. Okay. What does it mean? The angels. Or let me ask in my student English. What does that mean, the thad? What does that mean, student? It means... You're terrible at this. Okay. Angels. Okay. Angels. Which means this is a... Human. A human. Broken. Pearl. pearl. Yeah. But let's understand why it's a human broken pearl. I gave you a process for discovering a human broken pearl yesterday. Yeah. Can you follow that process and come up with that yes, answer? Yes, sir. Uh, so we're going to look at this first, and we're going to analyze it and see if it's plural by meaning. And it is. And it is. So after that, we have to go and check if there's a combo where there's a tamar buta, and so the tamar buta cancels that out. And uh, there's... Is tamar buta cancels that? Tamar buta is a combo? No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tamar buta, no combo. <laughs> Good. Sound. Good. Yeah, so it's a sound. Mm -hmm. And then uh, automatically, if it fits the profile, 
bam, you're the suspect. If you're plural and you didn't get no combo, plural by meaning, no combo, yeah. broken plural. Broke, broke. How do you know it's human? Because angels, angels fits in. The human Who thing. else fits in the human thing? Jins. Jins and actual humans. Bam. Bam. Human broken plural. Everybody clear how he got the human broken plural thing? Oliva, the homework was page 13. Everybody, I need to hear a yes from the Ummah. Did you guys get for yes that this is a no. human broken plural based on the process? Oh, yeah, they got Some it. Some are not clear about Aton. Okay, I'll come back to Aton now. I can't stop this now and go back to Aton. I can finish this and go back to Aton. Okay? Okay, Bam that. is correct, Rahma. Okay, very good. All right. Now, second step. We got to figure out how to give the answer to this. Mm -hmm. Well, if it was a non-human broken plural, the grammar answer would have been one, one feminine. feminine yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. But it's a human broken plural. How many answers do you get? You get two. You get two answers. What are the two answers you get? You can get one, or you can get Rafa, one feminine, or Rafa That's the broken three. plural answer. Yeah, then, or Rafa, Rafa three, three masculine. masculine. Okay, so Rafa is always going to be there, because yeah. Rafa is, doesn't even have to do with the fact that it's plural. Rafa mm -hmm. just has to do with the fact that it's U sound at the end. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we got that. And one answer is one feminine, because broken plurals will give you one feminine. Yeah. Or, what's the other side? The other side is it's going to be plural. Mm -hmm. And then my notes said, plural, whatever the meaning tells you, Yeah. right? Now, the meaning doesn't tell you a particular gender. It just says angels. Mm -hmm. When a word doesn't tell you a particular gender, you still choose masculine. Yeah, because Unless it says something that specifically means women, mm -hmm. you don't use feminine. Common sense, right? Right? Common yes, sense. common sense answer. So three masculine. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are the two answers. Now, one last time for ayatun. The opposite. You get two answers here? Yeah. yeah. So let's, let, let's, you know, jot that down a little bit. Um, oh, I'm making it bigger. I need to make it smaller. Oh, let me check if they... Hold on. One of the other TAs is there. Let me see if I can get them on. That can help. A TA? A teacher's assistant? Oh, I thought you were saying Texas assistant. A Texas, Texas assistant? I don't know. Like, it is... A tax accountant? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> A terrible astrophysicist? I, 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 okay. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Okay. <laughs> okay, I thought it was... Just, <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Okay, so now, when if you have a non-human broken plural, then you get... Hold on, let me just put this on plain mode so I can focus. Okay, non-human broken plural. Then you get two answers. When you have a... Uh, uh, sorry, not non-human. Human broken plural. Yeah. My fault. So we're just imagining. Yep. When you have a non-human feminine plural, which is aton aten, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you also get two answers. Yeah. You get two answers in both cases. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, but they're two different answers. Yeah. What are the two answers with human broken plurals? With human broken plurals, the two answers are one fem, one f, or three, whatever, whatever it means, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I for sure you can even say three, reality. Yeah, because common sense. Common sense. Whatever it really is, put that gender there. Yeah. Okay. With non-human, like aton aten, if it's non-human, we did yeah. ayaton, right? Uh -huh. um, the answer will be one uh, or three f, yeah. because that's from the three f chart. Or one F. Yeah. Okay, those are the mm -hmm. that's the scheme. Yeah. So that's what I'm summarizing. So this one, for those of you who had a question about aton, this is what I'm saying. When you when you get aton at the end and it's a non-human word, you get two answers. These are the two answers you get. Yeah. Why are these two answers important? Because uh, just to, you know, I'll throw it out there, even though I think you're gonna take some time to process this. Um, 
You know how we talked about nouns and adjectives a long time ago? Yeah. yeah. And nouns and adjectives, they have to match, mm -hmm. right? So all four properties have to be the same. Yeah. So sometimes ayatun will have an adjective. Oh, okay. And sometimes that adjective, it wants to match. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So should it match 3F? Should it match 1F? It can match either one. Oh, okay. So sometimes Allah will make it match with 1F. Sometimes mm -hmm. Allah will make it match with 3F. 3F. And the student will actually notice. A student of Quran will notice, hey, Allah did that 3F this time. Allah did that one, one feminine this time. Mm -hmm. How come? And that will help us discover how Allah may be talking about the same thing differently in different places. Yeah. It does make a difference in how you interpret or understand the Qur'an. Mm -hmm. So this actually becomes pretty important. The same way here, we've got two answers, right? Mm -hmm. One feminine and three reality. Yeah. So when Allah talks about angels in the Qur'an, sometimes He does talk about them as one feminine. Yeah. And sometimes He talks about them as what? Three, three reality, yeah. Yeah. right? Uh, and in one ayah, it's so amazing. فَكَيْفَ إِذَا تَوَفَّتْهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَضْرِبُونَ وُجُوهَهُمْ وَأَدْبَارَهُمْ He talks about them as one F and three R. Mm -hmm. So he, he combines both. Yeah. So we'll, we're going to learn when we get more advanced, what is behind, what's the secret behind one F? Mm -hmm. What's the secret behind three reality? Why would, uh, you know, the ancient Arab, nowadays they don't care, but the ancient Arab, why would they use this one versus that one? Mm -hmm. Right? So in one place, for example, Allah says, um, uh, you know, they will stay in, and, and I'm not explaining the grammar of the ayah, just uh, explaining something else to you. So one time Allah says, a few days, right? Mm -hmm. And the word few, He used one F. Okay. Right? Yeah. And another place He used a few, and He used atun, atin, atin, which is like three F. Oh, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, how come He used... 3F. He yeah. used 1F here, we used 3F here. Mm -hmm. How come? And we're actually going to compare those ayat. There are books written about those ayat that compare mm -hmm. those, those differences. Yeah. And they analyze and they discover how amazing Allah's speech is because He was so accurate when He chose 1F over here and He was so accurate when He chose 3F over here. Yeah. Okay? I want to share one example of that with you. Mm -hmm. I need your brains to be like tuned in because I really want... Yes, I am revising the last 10 days, human being. <laughs> human being? <laughs> human being? <sighs> What's happened to humanity? Human being. Is there any broken human feminine plural? I was only thinking of Nisa. I'm sure there are others. Yeah. Um, uh, I can't think of one. But I'm sure there are. Banat. No, Banat is pl regular plural. Um, no, nah, if I think of one, I'll, I'll ask Sheikh Suhaib, see if he can think of one. Yeah, you can say human being, uh, the human category is beings with intellect, but that sounds like really, you could say beings with intellect. So somebody said, why, why do you call it human broken plural? Why can't you call it beings with intellect broken plural? That's right? Nice. Because the Arabs actually called it the way uqul, possessors of intellect. First of all, it's too much of a mouthful. Second of all, then you'll say my cousin's not included. <laughs> right? So, yeah. So that's why. So I just say human broken plural. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about uh, this example. Okay. Sumbulaton. Uh -huh. uh, I gave this example, but I never explained what's going on here. Sanabilu. And sumbulaton. Okay. Um, ears. Ears. Ear. So. Sumbulatun means an ear of corn or grain. An mm -hmm. ear of grain, remember I showed you the stalk? Yeah. And you yeah. peel the leaves and it's got, mm -hmm. you know, little, little, you know, uh, corn, what do you call them? Grains. Grain. Inside, right? It could be for corn, it could be for other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the plural of it, now let's go through the process. Sana bilu, I'm telling you means ears. Okay. Is this plural by meaning? Uh, yeah. Does it have a combination at the end? No. So it's a broken plural. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And is it human or non human? Non human. Non human, so it's singular feminine. Okay. Right? And then sumbulatun also means ears. Yeah. Um, it's definitely plural by meaning. Yeah. Does it have a combination at the end? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so it's a regular feminine plural. Right? Okay. So Allah, was, Allah talks about in the Quran in two places, He talks about seven ears of grain. Right? Mm -hmm. And the first time he talks about seven years of grain is the dream of Yusuf. Mm. Oh, yeah, isn't the, the, the king saw seven years of grain yeah. 
seven skinny, seven fat cows, seven skinny cows, mm -hmm. seven, you know, ears of grain, etc. Yeah. right? So seven years of grain in, in the dream of Yusuf's king. Okay. Then he talks about seven years of grain in an ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah, what ha has to do with charity. Mm. He said, مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ The example of people who spend in Allah's path. كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ is the example of a single seed. أَمْبَتَتْ سَبْعَ سَنَابِلْ A seed that when you put it in the ground, it grew a plant that had seven ears of grain. فِي كُلِّ سُمْبُلَةٍ مِئَةُ حَبَّةٍ And in every single one of those ears, there was another hundred seeds. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what he's saying is, it started off as one seed, it became 700 seeds. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But he did say that one seed grows seven ears of grain. Mm -hmm. So the words, seven ears of grain, happens in the Quran twice. Once it happens with the story mm -hmm. of Yusuf and the king's dream. Yeah. Once it happens, what Allah says, when you give charity, yeah. it's like putting a single seed in the ground that turns into 700 seeds. Yeah. Right? By way of seven grains. Yeah. You, so far, so good? Yeah. Okay. Now here's the thing. Here, Allah used sumbulat. For the king, mm -hmm. the king's seven years, he used sumbulat. And for the seven years of grain and charity, Allah used sanabil. sanabil. Remember there were two plurals, a broken one and a regular one? Yeah. yeah. And they both mean ears. Mm -hmm. But the only difference for us is one's broken and one's yeah. feminine. Yeah. Right? So he used the feminine one for the dream of the king, mm -hmm. and he used the broken one for the, the charity ayah. Yeah. But the thing is, when we're translating, or you're reading a translation in the Qur'an, what does it tell you? It tells you seven years of grain. Right. Yeah. And in this ayah, it translates seven years of grain. And in this ayah, it also translates seven, seven, years, seven years, years of grain. Yeah. And you're like, same thing, mm -hmm. right? But in Arabic, is this the same as this? No. No, this is a feminine plural. This is a broken plural. Yeah. Now, this will be more advanced, but I'll break this to you because I want you to appreciate how beautiful this is. It's so beautiful. Like it's, it, it makes you, it, at least it makes me in awe of how Allah speaks. In Arabic, sometimes you have a word that has a broken plural and a feminine plural. You got two choices. Yeah. Isn't ear one of those words that's got two choices? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So it's perfectly good Arabic to say sanabil. It's also perfectly good Arabic to say sumbula. But the ancient Arabs had a thing. If you have two choices, then the broken one means more. Even though they're both plural, mm -hmm. they're referring to many more of the same thing. Oh, okay. And the, the, the atun atin one yeah. is less than 10. If there's two choices, then the feminine one is less than 10. Yeah. And the, the broken one is many, many, many. Yeah. So obviously both of them are seven, so they're less than ten. Yeah. So even though this one, the, the sumbulat, this one is supposed to, for the ancient Arabic, mean less. And this one is supposed to mean more. Right? Yeah. It's as if, let me, to, to help you think about this, the English word is book. Right? Mm -hmm. What's the plural in English? Uh, books. Good. Books. Imagine they have two plurals for books, mm -hmm. and one of them has a super S on it. Okay? Yeah. So one of them is just books. Yeah. One of them is like, oh, so many books, man, because I put a super S on it. Yeah. Okay? So they have, it's kind of like they have a regular plural, and you have a super plural. Yeah. Okay? So... The one in the king's dream is a regular plural, and the one in the charity ayah is a super plural. Super plural. So as, it's as if to say, the seven ears of grain in the king's dream are somehow less, even though they're seven, mm -hmm. they're somehow less powerful, yeah. and the seven ears of grain in the ayah of charity are more powerful. Yeah. Now let's think about these ayat. In the dream of the king, he saw seven ears, seven fat cows, seven skinny cows. Yeah. And if you remember what the dream was interpreted as, they were going to have seven good years where they had plenty of crop. Yeah. Everything was going to grow. They were going to have water. Mm -hmm. And then everything was going to dry up and they were going to run out of food. Yeah. And so the good years that they had, they can't just eat, eat, eat. They have to eat a little and save most of it. Right? Mm -hmm. And they can't eat all of it because they know they're going to be starving for seven years. Yeah. They starved so much that Yusuf's family, who lived in Canaan somewhere far away, mm -hmm. they ran out of money altogether. Yeah. And they actually had to bring their home furniture to sell to get food. That's actually what happens towards the end of Surah Yusuf. Yeah. So 
The story is about people having more or people having less? Less. People are going to have less. Yeah. But when someone gives Allah for the sake of Allah and charity, is Allah going to give them more back or less back? More. More and more and more. Yeah. So the story, the context in this, the story, the theme was about having less. Yeah. And Allah chose the word sumbulat, which refers to less. Yeah. And then the context and the story or the, the discussion is about you getting more and more back. Yeah. So Allah used the word that has more in it. So that's how precise Allah is with just choosing which plural to use, mm -hmm. right? So that's inshallah something that we're going to we're going to look at with dozens of examples in the Quran just to appreciate how accurate. Like we can't if I'm just talking to you guys, I can't calculate well in 5 years ago I used this word sumbulat and I should take into consideration that was talking about less. That's why I use sabulat. But now I'm talking about more. I should use sanabit. Because mm -hmm. Yusuf was revealed to the Prophet in Mecca. Baqara was revealed to the Prophet in Medina. Oh, okay. So you could argue that these are 10 years apart from each other when he used these words. Oh, okay. can, th can a human being remember what word they used 10 years ago and they should use a different word now? No. Or remember what context they used that one word in? When somebody, when your mom asks you, remember what you said yesterday? You're like... <laughs> what did I say? Sometimes, sometimes people's uh, wives or husbands say, wife says, do you remember what you said yesterday? And you're like, in your brain, you don't answer because you know any answer you give will get you in trouble. So, but your brain is telling you, I don't even remember what I said one minute ago. <laughs> in fact, I barely remember what you just said right now. <laughs> Human beings can't remember what they said. Yeah. Ex exactly. And they'll come up with, um, was, is this about the ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> People use that excuse? Well, they're like hoping that they hit the nail on the, they hit the target. No, I need you to remember what you said. <laughs> and then your brain, you're like, ah, I can't. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But you do. <laughs> so the idea being that seven ears is so accurate. That's just one example of one word and how powerful that can be. Right? Yeah. So I've done Malaika, we've done this, the, the ayat thing. Now I'll take numbers from you for page 13. Throw out numbers to me, and I will go over those questions before we move on. Can you explain the cases with two answers once again? Uh, Al-Yusra number 13. Okay, I'll explain the cases at the end, because I've done that twice now. So I'll explain that at the end. Years versus years? Are you serious? I can't, I can't win that debate. Um, number seven. Um, you guys write the numbers down. Okay. You're my teacher's assistants now. Seven. Number seven. Number 18. Number four. I'll write them. You stop. I'm Please read my assistant. email. I cannot. I'm teaching a class, Dr. Munir. Okay. Number nine, five and 12. 16. 13. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. You tell me the number. Yeah. We'll go over it. Yeah. Do these even have numbers on it? No, it's the graves. The graves is number seven. Graves is number, it is? Let's yeah. hope. One, two, three, There's ten four. on each column. Okay. Uh, number seven, Al-Qubur. Al-Qubur. Okay. okay. What does it mean? It's a graves. Right. Because it means graves. It's just it's, one feminine. It's plural by meaning. Plural by meaning. And it doesn't have a combo. And so it doesn't have a combo. One feminine. One feminine. One feminine and then it would and be jad. Jad. One yeah. feminine and jad. That's number, what was that number? Seven. seven yeah. What's seven. number 18? It, 18, 18 is, is uh, uh, the easiest. The, e the easiest? Yeah, yeah, the easiest. Okay. Let's talk about that so. one. Um, if you mess this one up, that's okay. It's not the easiest. <laughs> Dad joke. Okay. So, al-yusra uh, ends with an ah. Yeah. Which means I cannot tell its status. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If it ends with, if it ends like that, I can't tell the status. By the way, it could end like that. Or it could end like this too, like uh, Zakaria or Dunya. So like if it has a yeah, you just can't figure it or out. Or Musa. So it could be a, a yeah looking thing, mm -hmm. or it could just be a straight alif. Oh, okay. But the point is the same. It just sounds like ah at the end. Yeah. But there's no hamza at the end. Mm -hmm. Don't don't confuse it with this. I'm not talking about this because that's not the last letter. 
Alif is not the last letter now. But in these cases, Alif is the last letter. Yeah. Right? So when Alif is the last letter, then it's non-flexible, and the answer could be Rafa or Nasab or, or Jar. Jar. Now when it comes to the, the number, easiest mm -hmm. doesn't actually include any reference to pair by meaning it's singular. Yeah. Right? It's just an adjective, so we'll just say it's mm -hmm. singular. So it's one. And then this is one of the letter endings that can make a word feminine. Yeah. And or I'll let you know that that's the case. Okay. Yeah. That is feminine. It's feminine because of the letter ending. And I'll add something to that. Whenever you see the, the superlative, uh, we'll do this in sarf more carefully, but superlative means like the best or the ugliest or the biggest or the tallest or the most beautiful or the longest or the boringest or the painfulest. No, most painful. Most painful, most something, right? Yeah. So in English, you have the the, re the regular adjective, the comparative, and the superlative. Mm -hmm. More, uh, you know, more and most, yeah. better and best, mm -hmm. right? When you have the superlative, yeah. A lot of superlatives in Arabic, the feminine version of them are al husna, al yusra. Al-Kubra, فَإِذَا جَاءَتِ الطَّامَّةُ الْكُبْرَى Right? Al-Alamatu al-Sughra Al-Uzma Al-Malhamatu al-Uzma Which is the Arabic term for Armageddon Al-Uzma No, Al-Malhama That's the greatest calamity Oh, okay Yeah, Al-Malhamatu al-Uzma Al-Yumna Al-Qiyama? No, oh. because it doesn't end with A. Ah. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. So it's like, U-A, U-A, Husna, Yusra, mm -hmm. Kubra, Zuhra. You heard the U-A every yeah. time? Yeah. But when you said Qiyama, it wasn't, it yeah. wasn't U-A, oh, right? Yeah. So it's got to have the U-A in it, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, Al-Bushra, right? Mm -hmm. These guys are so the, the superlatives that have the I at the end are feminine. Okay. But you didn't know the meaning behind that. I just said the, the letter ending. But you see these guys, yeah. if they mean a superlative and they have that alif at the end, it's feminine. Okay. okay. Other number? For um, women. Yeah, for women. I'm doing this for the women. <laughs> Here you go. Nisa. Ah. Nisa. Okay. What does it mean? It's a woman. Therefore? It's plural, it's plural by, meaning. by meaning. Plural by meaning. You guys are clear about that? Yeah. Okay. Is the Ummah of Islam clear about that? The Ummah of Arabic? Plural by meaning? Plural. Everybody's okay with that? Yeah. Okay. And now. it hmm? doesn't have a combo, so it's one feminine. Jawad's here. Yay. He is? Yeah. Oh, yay. Assalamu alaikum, Jawad. We missed you. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah. All right. <sighs> Okay, now I don't have to read the comments. You can. Okay, good, good. <laughs> <sighs> That's so hard. Okay. Okay. Four. Oh, uh, yeah. Four? Yeah, it's one feminine and it's nasab. One? Well, it's... Well, there's You said it's meanings. plural. Yeah. Is it therefore a regular plural or a broken plural? Uh, regular? No, it's a broken is this plural. A, is this a feminine plural, masculine plural, or broken plural? Broken plural. Broken? Yeah. Is it? Mariam's not sure. So let's go through the process again. Okay. Does it mean plural? Yeah. Okay. If it means plural, what's the next question you ask? Does it have a... Does it have a combination? Does it? No. If it is plural by meaning and it doesn't have a combination, it so must be a... Broken plural. Now you're sure. Oh, okay. Okay. Now that you're sure, which kind of broken plural? Feminine. No. Which kind of broken plural? Human? Oh. Um, human. Human or non-human? Yeah. Human? Yeah, human. human? Non-human. Oh no, human. No, I thought. You, no, I thought you were trying to say human and non-human. So, I, so I finished the sentence. Okay. <laughs> okay. You finished. The, okay. <laughs> I scared you. I'm sorry. Human. Yeah. Human. If it's human, how many human. answers do you get? You get two. Ah, with humans you get two answers. Yeah. Ah, okay. Humans the most difficult. Yeah. So confused. Always choices, choices. Yeah. What are the two answers we're gonna get? You can get uh, nasab one feminine or nasab uh, three feminine. One F and three F. Yeah. 
Where did you get three feminine from? Because it's um, it's multiple people. And multiple common sense. Yeah, common sense. sense, you know. Common sense. Normal. And the nusab is right here. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Jawad, I didn't number these questions. I don't know why. But people are throwing numbers out, so you got to count and tell me. Are you going messengers next? Number Me nine? Messengers, messengers yeah. is number nine? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Rasulun. Where is messengers on it's this at one? The it's on the first column yeah, at the bottom. Go down. Okay, that's a good question. Rasulun. Sweet. What does it mean? Messengers. messengers. Mm -hmm. It's plural, plural by meaning. meaning. Plural by meaning. And so... And then it's, it's rafa. No, it's not a combination. So Therefore, broken plural. Broken okay, plural. so, so we got to be more precise than broken plural. It's a human broken plural. Good. So How many answers again? Two. Mm. One answer. One feminine. One feminine, literal. always. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then the literal one. It's and the literal one, excellent, yeah. would be what? Uh, three masculine. Three, three masculine, masculine. Yeah. excellent. That's it. Yeah. And the second answer, this one, is from common sense. Messengers yeah. are plural, they're many, and they're men. Yeah. Done. Very good. Yeah. What's next? Five, five. Um, C's. Yeah, five C's. He's passed it. I crossed the C's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Al Bihar. Al Bihar. Hmm. So this is. Do you want to explain it? Go ahead, Maria. You go ahead. It's plural by meaning, and it doesn't have a combination, so therefore it's a broken plural. Good. And it's non human. Okay, therefore the answer is. Um, what it's. Um, has one answer. Mm -hmm. So then it's Rafa and one F. One F. And Rafa is right here. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. You can understand the process. Mm -hmm. That's what I needed. Yeah. Take note of how they're answering that question. That's exactly what I need you guys to do. Yeah. Okay. Go on. Person. The person on the other, in the second column. The yeah. Second Basharun. I feel like this is from like Surah Abbasar, is it not? Bashar? Yeah, Basharun. Is it, is it not? Mm, I don't remember. So, do you want me to explain this one? Right. Sure, go ahead, your turn. Okay, Basharun is a person, so it's not plural by meaning, so that's already out. And then um, uh, we know by un comes from un, so that's from Rafa. So, if it's already out, you said it's not plural by meaning, so that's already out. Yeah. Which means it's not plural at all. Yeah. So, it's what number? So, it's, it's one. one. So, it's one. Yeah, it's one. And common sense also tells you it's one. Where's yeah. the common sense that tells you it's one? But... A person. A person. Yeah. Unless they have multiple personality disorder, <laughs> you just gotta say a one. one yeah. Right. So okay. Yeah. And then you can tell from the ending sound, it's on comes from u a or no u on, so it's rafa. Very good. And then it would be masculine. Why would it be masculine? Because of common sense. No, not because of common sense. Oh, okay. Uh, because um, well, there's no sign of feminine. Right. There's none of the letters that make a word feminine. Yeah. They're here. And it's not Arab feminine because the Arab said so. Yeah. And that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next question. 16. 16. Go down. Yeah. 16. Just go down. One, two, three. And then this one. It's uh -huh. Okay. Let's go through it, Mariam. Okay. So um, this one is plural by meaning. Good. And it does because I gave you the meaning right there. Yeah. Right? Thank and you. it doesn't have a combination, so it's a broken plural. Yes. It's rafa, so then it's one F. One F. Rafa one F. Yeah. Excellent. It's the same method over and over. Yeah. Yep. Go up and, and then 13. 13. Up and over? Yeah. No, 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 no. Just go up. Uh, 13 is Al Jahim. Al Jahim. Al Jahim. Al Jahim. Al Jahim. Al Jahim. Eat a mint. Al Jahim. Al Jahim. But you don't have to like mint the whole word like Al Jahim. No, just the ha part. Al Jahim. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. You want me to explain this? Mm -hmm. Hellfire. Mm -hmm. It's not plural by meaning. And then, so that's already added the picture. Which so means the number is already solved. Yeah, yeah, it's one. Good. And then, it is ma comes from a, and a is from nasab. Good. And so it's a sound. It's nasab, one, and then it's feminine, because any word for jahannam is feminine. Arab Good. Said so. Arab yeah. said that any word for hellfire is feminine. Yeah. Good. We did all of them? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jawad, any additional ones? Number 20. Oh, the last 20, one. The last one, the bleeders. Al-Mu'minina. Uh, uh, Just go straight down. It's like they're giving me driving directions. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Madam Al Mu'minina. Al Mu'minina. Okay, Mariam, it's your turn. Al Mu'min. Okay, so Al Mu'min. This is um, this is um, plural by meaning. Plural by meaning. Uh, yes. Yes, but it even is, if I didn't give you the, though. even if I didn't give you the meaning this time, you could have solved it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a combination. Which one? Um, al mu'minina. Which group? Remember the group thing? Yeah. So it's the plural group. So what? What are your answers? Um, three, three masculine, and then NJ. Three, because it's the pl it's plural. Yeah. Ina, masculine, because it's the masculine chart. Yeah. And, and Ina could be NJ. Yeah. Three actually came out like really good. It did. Yeah, really solid. Really, that was really solid. That's yeah. solid. I'm so proud of myself right now. Let me take a picture of this three. I'll put it on the fridge. Okay. <laughs> we good for now? Yeah. I cool. think we had enough review. Mm -hmm. I think we're we're pretty good where I want you guys to be on this subject. If you're still confused about it, the process I want you to follow is first watch the video again. Like whatever part you're confused about, you need to patiently listen to it again. And then see if, you know, because, you know, it's human. We zone out sometimes. Yeah. Like even when I'm taking classes and lectures and stuff, I'll listen to something. I say, wait, 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 I, I lost him there. And I go back five minutes yeah. or I finish the live lecture and I go back and I listen to it again. and say, yeah. oh, that's what he was saying. Mm -hmm. So sometimes pausing and going through it, it really does help. Yeah. Like it did answer your question, but our brains can't stay on the same intense mm -hmm. battery juice constantly. So that can actually affect whether or not you got the answer. But alhamdulillah, I think everything's been explained. And um, you should be all right, inshallah. All right, so we've talked about status. We've also talked about number. We're now going to talk about gender and type. So let's deal with gender. Yeah. Uh, on Al-Jahim, we had a question. Would that count as a place? It can. But it's the name of a place. Al-Jahim, the roaring one. It's a description, a nickname, not not the. It's, it's a word for a place, a, a word coined for a place, but not the name of it. So, uh, actually, you know what? The question warrants a little bit of a discussion. Uh, name versus description. In English, yeah. If I say kind, is that a name or a description? Description. Good. If I say. Norman, is that a name or a description? Name. Okay. If I say scary, is that a name or a description? Description. Okay. If I say hot, is that a name or a description? Description. Okay. If I say Jahannam, is that a name or a description? That's a name. That's, That's a name. name. Yeah. That's a name. The thing is, in Old Arabic, the word for name was ism. Yeah. The Arabic word ism that we use for person, place, thing, idea, yeah, adjective, a little more. Yeah. Also meant name, okay? But it is also used, ism is also used for description. Mm -hmm. Allah has many descriptions in the Quran. Mm -hmm. Allah is merciful, Allah is forgiving, Allah is wise, Allah is all these things, right? Yeah. Those are all names or descriptions? Description. But we call those the names of Allah. Yeah. The wise one, the, mm -hmm. the, the giver, the guide, the provider, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, the mighty yeah. those are all descriptions actually mm -hmm. but we also call them what names, names yeah. but the, technically the name name is actually the name Allah yeah and all others are in a sense descriptions of that name yeah Allah plays all of those roles for us and Allah has all those ways of describing himself yeah. that's why scholars that wrote about these things they say alasma was sifat mm -hmm. names and attributes names and adjectives yeah. those are adjectives for Allah the same way when it comes to the question of hellfire, Jahannam is actually the name. Oh, okay. But Al-Jahim, Al-Sa'ir, Al-Hariq, the crackling frame, flame, yeah, right? The blazing flame, the roaring flame, all of those are descriptions. Yeah. They're not names. Mm -hmm. And that's why they have to have Al on them in the beginning. Yeah. A name, Ibrahim, you don't have to say it. The Ibrahim, Al-Ibrahim. Yeah. You just say what? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. So Al itself is sometimes a giveaway that you're actually looking at a description, mm -hmm. the word for a place, but not the name of the place. Yeah. Right? Not the name of the place. That's why Al-Jannah would be the word for heaven, yeah. but not the name of it. This, it's a description of it. Uh, and the same way, al Madina would not be the name of the city, but the word for it. Yeah. The, the name of it was Yathrib, mm -hmm. but the word for it became al Madina. Yeah. Okay? So that's, that's how that works. I hope that helps a little bit. Because that's, 
The question you asked about al jahim behind it is a thought process that I want to address, right? Okay, so now let's talk about gender. If that's okay, Jawad, unless there's something else? Uh, one more question. And that uh, for non-human plurals, broken and feminine. not broken, um, yeah. are they singular feminine? They can be. So non-human plurals are of two kinds. Mm -hmm. Non-human plurals are of two kinds. One of them is non-human broken plural, mm -hmm. and the other one is non-human feminine plural. Yeah. Uh, non-human broken plurals, we talked about enough times, we always call them 1F, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Non-human feminine plurals, what I mean by that is words that are aton or atin, yeah. right? Yeah, but But... Yeah, you're right. Uh, so non-human feminine plurals are words that are non-human, like ayatun, yeah. but they have the atun at the end. That's why we can't call them a broken plural. Remember, if it's got a combination at the end, it's not a broken plural. Yeah. Right? And so the only non-human plurals you'll find in Arabic are going to be one of these two categories. It's either going to be a broken plural or it's going to be a feminine plural. Yeah. Now, if it is feminine plural, you can also consider it 1F. But the other possibility will be 3F. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, you get two answers. Okay? Yeah. So, so that answers that question. Now I'm going to talk about gender. What page? Uh, we're on the, the gender page, actually. Yes. Yeah, we're already on it. Ooh. And we're going to do that page, too. Okay. So let's talk about gender. There is real masculine. Yeah. There's fake masculine. There's real feminine. Mm -hmm. And there's fake feminine. Okay? Yeah. So let's tell you what that means. Norman is real masculine. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hatif, the Arabic word for phone, is fake masculine. It's yeah. not a guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they're going to talk about it as if it's okay. masculine. So it's fake, fake masculine. Yeah. Uh, Islam is fake masculine. Mm -hmm. Islam is an idea. Yeah. But they'll talk about it as if it's masculine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then there's real feminine. Maryam is real feminine. Yeah. Okay. Fake feminine would be words like resurrection, qiyama, or mercy, yeah. right? They're not really feminine. Mm -hmm. This is like or literal. the sun. The it's sun is feminine, literal. but it's not really fe female. Yeah. But to the Arabs, it's feminine, mm -hmm. right? So these three we don't study. Real masculine we don't study because it's common sense. Yeah. If you don't know what a real masculine is, talk to me after class. You have other issues. <laughs> not Arabic grammar. Real feminine for the same reason we don't discuss because it's way too obvious. You figured that out when you were like a year old. Yeah. Okay? Mama. Yep. Dada. That's right. <laughs> fake masculine, we don't have to study because we are whatever is not fake feminine is it's automatically fake masculine. masculine. That's why we don't use the words male and female. Oh, okay. We don't use those words because those use those are use, words used for real gender, yeah. like male oh. and female, men and women, mm -hmm. or animals, right? Now, let's talk about fake feminine. Many words, not all words. Many words. Ending with this guy. The tamarbuta. <coughs> the allergies really got me today. Excuse me, people. Okay, so many words ending with tamarbuta, yeah, yeah. the round ta. Yeah. Uh, that's called a, the, so those of you that don't know, mm -hmm. I'll be using this word often. Some of you don't know what this is, and that's okay. Uh, it's called the tamarbuta. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ta, yeah. ta is just the sound. Mm -hmm. Marbuta means tied up. Yeah. And the whole thing is that ta looks like this, and then it was tied up and therefore marbutified. Mm -hmm. So it's called a marbuta. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this guy, the ya, mm -hmm. which got a dagger on top, is not really a ya, it's an alif. Mm -hmm. It's called an alif maksura. Alif maksura. Alif maksura. Alif maksura. Okay, if you want to sound like serious about Islam, alif maksura. Mm -hmm. But if you want to sound like a tourist, say alif, alif maksura. maksura. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met somebody like that. I met a professor of Arabic who said, mm -hmm. you know, my favorite letter of the Arabic language is the alif maksura. It's so fascinating. I was like, okay, all right, okay. Okay, John. John? Yeah, it was John. Yeah. He said, he pronounced things in the most fascinating ways. He said things like, Sharia law. What? It's so fascinating. Oh, Sh Sharia. Sharia. Sharia law. <laughs> <laughs> like a New York accent with the Yep. 
Yep. Yep. It was total New York accent. I know how you say was... water in New York and. I... Huh? <laughs> Nobody says that. Don't try that in New York. Okay. I saw, I saw that in the video. This guy from New York. Let's like, help me say what. What's up? Let me get some. What's. Please don't try that at home. Okay. <laughs> or ever. Okay. So, Alif. This one's called an Alif Mam, Mamduda. Mamduda? Mamduda. Okay. Alif Mamduda. 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 Means stretched Alif. Okay. Because you know, just uh, like you read sama on, yeah. right? So it's you stretch it out. Mm -hmm. So the mamdud actually means it's got a mud on it. It's yeah. stretched. Okay, those are the names for it. But okay, if you don't know that, if you just know the letters at the end, then I'm okay with that. But I I'll start using these words more and more. So it's okay to get a little used to that. Okay, tamar yeah. alif maksura and alif mamduda. Okay, because you know I I want you to learn these concepts. But I also want you to start becoming a little bit more familiar with some of these terms. Yeah. Right? And it, because it'll, it'll help you switch over to Arabic little by little. Yeah. I don't give you terms for everything, not yet. Mm -hmm. But some things, it's okay. And if you don't remember, I'll just say, oh, the round ta, ta marbuta, or the alif, the dagger alif, alif maksura, mm -hmm. or the stretched alif, alif mamduda. So I'll stay both those words so they start kind of sitting in your head. Okay? So many words that, many words that end with this. Mm -hmm. If if they don't have a real gender, okay. this only makes sense if they don't have a real gender. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Uh, let me show you. Talha is the name of a famous Sahabi, okay. and Musa is the name of a famous prophet. prophet. Right? Let me make those names bigger. Talha was a man. Mm -hmm. Does he have a Tamar Buddha at the end? Yeah. Nobody in Arab history came around to Talha and said, you got a girly name, you got a little hijab at the end, huh? Mm -hmm. What happened? <laughs> Nobody does that. You know why? Because many words are feminine because of this, yeah. but not all words. Yeah. And that only works if the word doesn't already have a real gender. Does Talha have a real gender? Yeah. He's a man. Mm -hmm. So this Ta meant nothing. I have nothing to do with gender anyway. Yeah. Musa has an alif maqsura at the end. Yeah. And nobody's going to dare say Musa has a girl name. Because yeah. they, they might get punched. Yeah. And you don't want to deal with a Musa punch. Yeah. People die. Yeah. So this alif maqsura has nothing to do with gender. Yeah. So what I'm saying is you, you may not find, you might find words that have these endings, but they're not feminine. Yeah. And that's okay. That's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying there are many words that do. Yeah. How are we going to know that which words are it? <laughs> I'll tell you. Okay. I will tell you. But even though I will tell you, if I say, tell me the gender of Musa and you have trouble with that, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> okay? Because yeah. you favorite. should know that one. Yeah. Okay? So if I give you a word like, you know, Zulfa. Zulfa. That's like a man name, right? No, it's not a name. That's uh, a name? Zulfa, and I say, what's the gender? You're like, I don't know what this means, but I'm guessing it's feminine because many words like this are feminine. Yeah. That's a good guess. Zulfa is feminine. Oh, okay. Okay? okay? It means beautification. Oh, okay. Like decorating. Mm -hmm. Zulfa is decorating. Yes. Allah says he decorates the earth. And he uses that word. Like Zulfa. flowers and trees. and yeah. Those are decorations of the earth. Mm -hmm. Or different color rocks and different grains of sand and stuff yeah. like that. Okay? Okay. So far, so good? Yeah. Okay, so feminine for these three Absolutely. letters. Feminine because the Arabs, Arabies, Arabs said so. Arabs said so. Page 12. Good. Page 12. Now close this book. And turn around, face the bookshelf. And all of you, don't look at page 12. Don't look at the screen right now. See if you can remember. Any of the words from page 12. Once upon, during a blank, a soldier was daydreaming. During a war? Yes, the Arabic word for war is harb. 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 During a what? Harb. So I won't say war anymore, I'll say what? Harb. Okay, during a harb, a soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the... Sky. Sky. I won't say sky anymore. As-sama'a. Just sama. 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 Okay. So during a... Sama. No, during a... a, 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 a during a, 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 a marub. 
<laughs> that's Arabic. Is that Farsi? <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> Would you come up with that? <laughs> is that Tower Muta and Hub combined the Maroob? <laughs> During a war. Yes, let me actually take it off the screen so the rest of you aren't tempted. During a war, what's the Arabic word for war? Harb. Oh, I don't know why. Harb. Yes. During a harb, a soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the until the sun came up. What's the sun? Shams. Okay, let's start over. During a. During a. Harb. Harb. Good. During a harb. Yeah. Uh, a soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the sama until the shams came up. When he snapped out of it, he realized he was the only person left on the battlefield. Basharun. Good, good choice, but that's not the one I Basharun. need here. Nafs. Nafs. A different word. Oh, okay. okay. Nafs. The Bashar is not. Bashar is masculine. Nafs is going to be feminine because okay. the Arabs said so. Okay. What's the word? Nafs. Nafs. Okay. Starting over. During a. Harb. Good. A soldier. Maria, you too, right? Yeah. During a. Sama. During a yeah. sama. During a harb. During a harb, yeah. a soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the uh, sama. sama until the shams. shams came up. When he yeah. snapped out of it, he realized he was the only nafs, nafs left on the battlefield. Brilliant. He's, he was surrounded by fire. Nar. Nar is correct. Mariam also, he was surrounded by? Nar. Nar. So he used a bucket. Now, this is new. Bucket is dalwun. 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 Right. D-A-L-W-U-N. Dal won. Dal won. Okay, let's start over. During a good, a soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the sama, sama until the shams. shams came up. When he snapped out of it, he realized he was the only Nafs. left on the battlefield. He was surrounded by Nafs. so he used a <laughs> I gotta write that down. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm gonna make a t shirt. The Dull Hubs. No, no, no. This is not. It's okay. Dullwood. Dullwood. Dullwood, yes. Dullwood. Full of water to make a path. Path, okay. What's a path? A sabil. No, sabil. 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 Circle. Okay, the sabil. word for bucket is dalwun. Dalwun. Yeah. So he, re so he was surrounded by nar. nar so yeah. he used a dalwun. Dalwun, full of water, a bucket full of water, right. to make a path. Or sabil. 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 Like you know, in the path of Allah, fi sabilillah. Yeah. That'll make you remember it. Okay. Sabil, right? Sabil is path. Uh, and a tariq. 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 Tariq is another word for path. So okay. two words for path are Sabil and Tariq. 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 Two words for path are what? Sabil and Tariq. Sabil and Tariq. Let me start over. During a... During a... Yes, 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 yes. Ha? Harb. 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 A soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the... Sama. Sama. Until the... Shams. Came up. When he realized... When he snapped out of it, he realized he was the only nafs, nafs left on the battlefield. He was surrounded by nafs. So he used a dalwun. Excellent, dalwun, full of water to make a uh, sabil. Excellent, Mariam. Good job, Mariam. Another one, another one, another one. Sabil and a tariq. Good enough, tariq. All the way to safer land, safer earth, safer earth. Earth. Uh, earth. Uh, dunya. Ard. Ard. I say earth. You say ard. ard. Get it? Yeah. Land is what? Ard. ard. Let's see if we can get this far again. During a. Ard. No, ard. not during an ard. ard. Harb. 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 Yes, a soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the sama. sama until the shams came up. When he snapped out of it, he realized he was the only Nafs. left on the battlefield. He was surrounded by. Nar. So he used a dalwun full of water to make a sabil and a uh, tariq all the way to safer ard. All the way to safer ard. In the hot blowing rih, rih means wind. Okay. In the hot blowing rih, he was desperately looking for a bitter. 
Be'er. Okay. Like, Reeh is wind. Reeh is what? Wind. wind. And Be'er is a well. So, Dalu is a bucket. And a Dalu goes in a? A Be'er. Dalu and Be'er. Dalwun, bucket. Be'er is the well. Right? Okay, this is the last two. I, there's, there's more, but we can hold off. And then I'll give you a break. But let's see if you can accomplish this. During a... Harb. Harb. A soldier was daydreaming looking up at the... Sama. Until the... Shams. Then when he snapped out of it, he realized he was the only... Naf. Good. Left on the battlefield. He was surrounded by... Naf. Good. So he used a... Uh, a one. Yes, bucketun. Very good. <laughs> Full of water to make a... Sabil. And a... Tariq. tariq. All the way to safer... Uh, ard. Ard. In the hot blowing... Si. Close. Si. Wind. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Rih. <laughs> In the hot blowing... Rih. He was desperately looking for... A... Uh, a uh, uh, things will get better. Be'er. Be'er. Be'er to draw water from. Go take your break, 10 minutes. You're getting better? Yeah. Saying this. You should make a t-shirt out of... Egg. Yeah, I wrote it down. You did? <laughs> well, if you say 10, it just says 10 seconds. Fred? Yeah. I don't think we're live on the website. Uh, let me work on that. Check now. It's up now. It's up? Okay, good. Sorry about that. That's why I need a TA. Check all the boxes. You okay though? Yeah, everything's good. Okay. All right, you can take some questions while we finish this break. Let me put it on the screen. <clears throat> no. Umar, doesn't the word nafs mean soul? The word nafs has a lot of different definitions, and person and soul and self are uh, among those definitions so you'll see it used in a lot of different ways is jannatun treated the same as ayatun um 
Are you talking about the singular form, jannatun, or the plural form, jannatun? Saima, if you can clarify, then I can better answer the question, inshallah. Tima, we will talk about mudaf and mudaf ilay in a bit. We're not quite back up there yet, inshallah, um, in a few more days, inshallah. Al mutanafisuna is it heavy or light? Um, so because of the al at the beginning, we don't have to uh, we don't have to worry about heavy or light. Remember, anytime we have al on a word, the question of heavy or light becomes irrelevant. If we didn't have the al and it was just mutanafisuna, then because of the una, that noon at the end, it would be heavy. But again, because of the al, we don't have to worry about uh, asking. We don't have to worry about asking heavy or light. Coffee, 1712. Tariq is feminine because of the Arab set. So, yes. Fatima, the Arabs said so plurals, can they be treated as singular feminine? Uh, remember, if they are non-human, um, then yes, they can be treated, they can always be treated as singular feminine. Non-human plurals are always going to be treated as singular feminine. If they're human plurals, then we have the option. Uzra, why is Basharon masculine? Basharon is masculine by default. But remember, when we're talking about gender, um, masculine is always the default gender. We don't need a reason to be masculine. We need a reason to be feminine. And if we don't have a reason to be feminine, then we're masculine by default. So Basharon, it doesn't have any reason to be feminine. And that's why it's masculine. Fatima for those, uh, yeah, Sabil and Tariq both mean path. They're different words, um, but they are synonymous. And they're both feminine because the Arab said so. Saima, yeah, if we're looking at the plural, Jannatun, then it's a non-human plural, so we would treat it as singular feminine. Seek Allah, Ka's means cup, yes. Najira, uh, question 13. Question 13 on which page? Um, but if we're talking about the word now, then remember the word now is on that uh, on that page of feminine because the Arab said so. So the word now will always be feminine. Are the words on page 12 broken plurals? The words on page 12 are all singular. They're all singular words.
Why is Sayyatin number four on page 14 singular? Remember, uh, whenever we're dealing with any non human plural, try to drill this into your head. Any non human plural will be treated as singular feminine. Any non human plural will be treated as singular feminine. Whether it's an atun ending or whether it's a broken plural, any non-human plural will be treated as singular feminine. The uh, warda are the plural versions of the words on page 12, also feminine. Since uh, all of these words are non-human, uh, when we make them plural, they will be feminine, yes. Non-human plurals, singular feminine. Page 13, number 10. Asail. So, page 13, number 10. Asail is somebody who asks. So, from the definition, we can tell that it's not plural. And that's why it's singular here. Because from the definition, we know it's just one person who's asking. And then we don't have any reason for it to be feminine. Again, when it comes to gender, we look for reasons to be feminine. If we don't see a reason to be feminine, then we say it's masculine. So we don't have any reason to be plural and we don't have any reason to be feminine. So we can just say it's singular and masculine. <clears throat> Number twenty three on page ten. Let's see. Number 23 on page 10, that is not a ya at the end. That is an alif maqsura. And we can tell because, remember, the letter ya always has the two dots at the bottom. Alif maqsura will never come with two dots at the bottom uh, underneath it. Also, the vowel before alif maqsura will always be fatha. So it's, uh, there are certain things you can use to tell whether it's alif maqsura or ya. And in this case, it's alif maqsura. And that's why it's non-flexible. Do non-flexible words have plurals? They can. 
Ahmed, they definitely can. Ishaq, Allahi is in Idlafa. Yes, um, but it's a type of Idlafa that we haven't exactly covered yet. So we will get to that, insha'Allah. A A is an alif maqsura with an alif the same without an alif. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by with an alif. I'm assuming you mean with a small alif sitting on top of it. And in that case, they are the same. Um, the small alif is just added to make it easier to read. But originally, it's not written with the small alif. So they're both the same thing with the small alif and without it. Uh, and... In both cases, yes, it can be used su to suggest a word is feminine. Not always, but it can. For the feminine, because the Arab said so words, the plural versions of them are not going to have una, una and ina because they are not human. Um... All of the words on that page, let me double check, but I believe all of the words on that page will have broken plurals. Muntasir, that's not a ya. Yeah. Um, that's a special type of alif. There's a there's a there's a type of alif that looks like ya without any dots under it, and that's what we're talking about. Nafs asad it has a lot of different definitions, and uh, I couldn't go through all of them right now. Um, but the most common definitions are a person or like a soul. Uh, <clears throat> page 13. Okay, let's go over some examples then on page 13. So on page 13, number 3, wujuhun. The first thing we need to look at is the definition. The definition of wujuhun is faces. So we already know it's plural by looking at the definite by looking at the definition. And then we have to look, is it human or is it non-human? Wujuhun, even though humans have faces, a face by itself is not human. So try to differentiate between the two. Because an animal can have a face, right? Even inanimate objects can have faces if you draw a face on them. So just because humans have faces does not mean faces are human. So we're going to call wujuhun a non-human plural. and how do we treat non-human plurals? We treat them as singular feminine. Sorry that break took longer than I expected, guys. Bismillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Allah ba'd. Let's get back to work. So we were doing page 12. Yeah. Once upon a time there was a... Oh no, 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 not a man. <laughs> During a harb. Oh, wait. You can't look. You can turn around. Oh, okay. During a harb. You guys try to, you know, close one eye. <laughs> <laughs> a soldier was daydreaming, looking up at the. Sama. Until the. Shams. Good. 
when he snapped out of it, he realized he was the only left, left on the battlefield. He was surrounded by Nar. 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 So he used a uh, dal one to make a sabil and a tariq all the way to safer ard. <laughs> that gave me dard. <laughs> In the hot blowing. Wind. Yes, wind. Uh, Rih. Rih. In the hot blowing, Rih. he was desperately looking for a. You uh, better well. get this. You better get this. You better get it. Bitter. <laughs> to draw water from. In his search, he found an empty house. Mm. House. 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 What's the word for house? Uh, house. No. I'm kidding. Dar. Dar. An empty what? Dar. Okay. Inside which he found a cup. Ka'as. Ka'as. What's the word for house? Dar. What's the word for cup? Ka'as. 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 Yes. A cat. Except with the hamza. Ka'as. Like Ka'as. a hiccup. Ka'as. Ka'as. No, you have to die to say cup. Ka'as. Ka'as. Good. Full of khamr. Khamr. Khamr is wine. Good. He is tempted despite his fear of hell. Nar. Uh, the name? Jahannam. Jahannam. Uh, we can skip the second one. And he uses his... Asa, Asa means his staff, the stick. Okay, to strike the drink. Okay, those are the words. You're gonna review them a little bit on your own. See if you can tell the story and you can tag team. Meaning, meaning once upon a time there was a and she fills on the blanks, and then you say once upon a time, you say once upon a time, and he fills all the blanks. Oh, yeah. But get to know these words, okay? Oh, yeah. These are feminine. Why? Because the Arab said so. Yeah, that's category number two. These are feminine because the Arab said so. Okay, so feminine because the Arab said so. We've got the, the words that end with a certain ending. Yeah. They're feminine. Feminine because the Arab said so. We've beaten this one over the head. Broken, plurals. The human ones and the non-human ones. The human ones can be one feminine. Uh, or, or three whatever. Three reality. Right? Or the non-human ones must be one feminine, one feminine okay. right? So yeah. we know about that now already. Mm -hmm. Those are all fake feminines too. And then there's body parts in pairs. We don't have to deal with that until the time comes. Yeah. Okay? That's gender. Done. Mm -hmm. And there's finally type. Now we have to spend a little bit extra time on type. Okay. okay? Gender basically got covered, all of you, when I was discussing um, you know, number yeah. and status mm -hmm. with you. Gender kept coming up, kept coming up, kept coming up. So most of it got covered by osmosis. Yeah. Okay. So the only thing left really is type. But before we do that, I want to get you guys to work. So open up your notebooks. And what I want you to do is... Uh, common versus proper? Mm -mm, the page before common versus proper. Uh, this is page 14. Yeah. Okay. I want you to try to figure out four properties... Of the ones I'm circling. We already did this. You already did it? Yeah. We did? Yeah. Did we skip any? No, no. we didn't skip any. Oh, we did all of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy Allah. You said we had this pretty solid. So. Then we're good. Then we can move on. Uh, the only one... Sunana. Yeah, Sunana. Let's do Sunana. Sunana. Okay. Okay. okay, let's do number 16, everybody. I'll zoom in on it. Pencil. Sorry. Sunana. I'll tell you the meaning. Yeah. Legacies. 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 Write that down. Legacies. I spelled it wrong, but it's okay. L E G A C I E S. Oh, only two words wrong. Legacies. Okay. Legacies. Okay. Uh, this means legacies. Yeah. So follow the process. So. We're gonna check if it is uh, if it is plural, uh, plural by meaning, meaning. in it, which it is. Okay. And it doesn't have a combination, so this is already Good. a broken plural. Good. So automatically F one. We we found that out. Excellent. And status. Now, uh, status is uh, singular. Excellent. And then we got nasab one because it's a sound. Status is nasab, mm -hmm. and it's one feminine because it's a non-human yeah. broken plural. Yeah, and it's Good. Singular. That, that's the hardest part of what we had done thus far in the course, mm -hmm. and you guys are pretty comfortable with it now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Alhamdulillah. That's a, that's a pretty big thing. This was our homework, you said. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, this was a homework yesterday? No, no this, this was this homework like, like... Someone put the um, uh, definitions on like... Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Of YouTube. And you guys destroyed it, yes. Yeah, comments yes. turn off... Uh, YouTube turned off the comments. Turn it back on, YouTube. What? Who? What? YouTube turned off your comments. Really? The yeah. The comments are... Uh, the comments are disabled because we're underage, so... The comments are turned off. Oh. Cause for like, you? Y yeah, no, for everybody. No, cause Nobody like, can see the comments. Because if there's, like, kids in here, apparently, like, they take it off, I'm pretty sure. Really? Yeah, with, like, family, like, YouTubers, like, they take it off because... Oh, eight or whatever. I didn't know that. You know so much about YouTube and the internet. I need to, you have to give me an orientation <laughs> for properties of YouTube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, let's talk about common versus proper. Okay. This is on page 15, yeah, 15. in your notes. Um, it says on top, common versus proper, then common, it says yeah. default. Uh, what does the word default mean? Default means unless you can prove it's proper, it's yeah. automatically common. common, okay? Most words in Arabic are common. Okay. And you got to turn them into proper, or you got to prove that they are mm -hmm. proper, okay? So there are seven kinds of proper, Yeah. okay? Now, words with al is the first category. Yeah. And let me remind you what al means. The. Good. You reminded me. The. Al yeah. means the. Thank you. It has the two things you need to know about it. Yeah, it's written. <laughs> Two things you need to know about it. Yeah. Al does not like, <laughs> fill in the blank. Uh, tanween. Good. Al does not <laughs> like tanween. tanween <laughs> but al does not affect noon. Noon. Okay? Yeah. Page six with al from the top of your head. Not looking at page six. Go ahead, Jawad. Uh, we need some requests for the previous page. Do you want to go over, over the whole examples? Or specific examples. Let me do this discussion. We'll come back to that and do all four properties of them then. Sure. Okay. So we'll, we'll do maybe ten or so examples from the previous page. Al Muslimu, Al Muslima, Al Muslimi. Good. Al Muslimani, Al Muslimaini, Al Muslimaini. Perfect. Al Muslimuna, Al Muslimina, Al Muslimina. Al Muslimatu, Al Muslimata, Al Muslimat, Al Muslimati. Al Muslimatani, Al Muslimataini, Al Muslimataini, Al Muslimatu, Al Muslimati, Al Muslimati. Yay, hard. That was awesome. <laughs> Mariam? Um, al Muslimah, Al Muslimu, Al Muslimah, Al Muslimi, Al Muslim, Al Muslimuna, Al Muslimi. Al Muslimuna, Al Muslimina, Al Muslimina. What about the pair? What? Muslimun, Muslimani, Muslim. Oh, Al Muslimani, Al Muslimaini, Al Muslimaini. That's the second one, right? Uh huh. Al Muslimuna, Al Muslimina, Al Muslimina. Yes. Al Muslimani, Al Muslimaini. Well, you did that already. The feminine one now. Yeah, no. The feminine. Okay. Al Muslimatu, Al Muslimati, Al Muslimati. That's the plural column. Start at the singular. Al Muslimatu. Al Muslimatu, Al Muslimati, Al Muslimati. No, 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 no. The last one has T T twice. T T. Oh. But the first one has. Oh, Al Muslimat, Al Muslimatu, Al Muslimata, Al Muslimati. Yes. Al Muslimatani, Al Muslimataini, Al Muslimataini. Uh huh. Al Muslimatu, Al Muslimati, Al Muslimati. I'm gonna give him a hug for you. Excellent job. Excellent job. Oh my god, this bird of mine. Okay. <laughs> Very good. You know how you say bird in uh, Farsi? Kaftar. Kaftar. That sounds delicious. Anyway. Words are. Mindish. Proper when they have al. Al. al on them. Okay, and they don't like tanween, yeah. right? Uh, the second category is proper names. Proper names are examples. Shah. Okay, Shah, yeah. yeah. Ustad, Noman, Ali. Ustad, Noman. Ustad yeah. wouldn't be. Yes, no, yeah. no, yeah. I disrespect because. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so, Noman would be a proper yeah, name. Yeah. Sure. Makkah would be a proper name. Mm -hmm. Medina. Uh, no. Al Medina. Medina al means what? Medina. Al Medina the means the city. So yeah. that's not a proper name. Yeah, that's proper because of Al. Yeah. Texas would be a proper name. El Very Texas. good. Just say Texas. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they write it like this. Texas. Texas. <laughs> that's how we say it in Farsi too. Oh, okay. Texas, right? In Texas. Oh, yeah. I say Texas on it. Yeah. I say Texas. Just oh, you just, in the middle of Farsi, you just drop the American? You're like, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> like, that's what you do? <laughs> 
No, we say some words like in English and other words in Farsi. Yeah, but we no, but when you say the English words when you're talking Farsi, do you say that with a Farsi accent or do you say it with no, an American English, accent? No, English, American I, accent. Really? That's I weird. Say, I say it with my mom. Like when I talk to my parents, because yeah. in Urdu there's a lot of words that are English words, mm -hmm. but I actually say them the way you're supposed, you're supposed to, to say them yeah. in Pakistani Urdu, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if I'm saying something about control, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh my god, the control is bad. Like, I'll, I, I won't say it's got a control is bad. Like, I'm not going to do that. So, no, I turn like, into like total yeah. desi uncle yeah. when I you know, Urdu is like straight Urdu. Even the English becomes that. Right? Yeah. Like, like if oxygen? I say that needs a lot of determination, I'm not going to say, Mom, it's going to be determination. No, I'm going to say determination. That's what I would say. Yeah, whenever I'm like, talk to my mom, it's the funniest thing because we just be laughing all the time. Because I'd be like, oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, proper names. Those are clear, common yeah. sense, right? They're pr not proper because of al them. They're proper yeah. because they're specific names. Mm -hmm. One thing you should note about them that is can be a little bit confusing for some of you is you have a word like Muhammad, right? Let's just mm -hmm. take yeah. that. You see the un at the end of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some people see the un at the end and say, oh, it's common. It doesn't have al. Mm, yeah. Oh, that's a mistake. It, it is proper, but not because it doesn't have al. It's because it's, because it's a name, yeah. right? Or shu'aybun. Uh, yeah, sure, it got the tanween on it. Mm -hmm. And then mean usually means common, but it's a name this time, so mm -hmm. it's proper. Yeah. You're still thinking of the conversation <laughs> with your mom, okay? <laughs> the one being called. Now I'll tell you something new about the one being called. Okay. The rules I'll tell you today, you may not remember uh, because there's lots to remember. So as they come up over and over again, when we engage the text of the Qur'an, it'll become second nature. But I do want to tell you some things about it. So let's, because I'm not teaching you this in theory. I want to teach you this as you read Qur'an, right? So I'll, I'll share something with you. You have, Ya, uh, ya Adamu. In the Qur'an. Ya Adamu skun anta wa zawjukul jannah. Adam, yeah. enter you and your spouse into heaven, right? Ya Dawudu. Inna ja'alnaka khalifatan fil ardi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ya Isa, inni mutawafika wa rafi'uka ilayya. Okay. Ya Musa, in, ma tilka bi yaminika ya Musa. Okay. Uh, ya Zakaria, inna nubashiruka bi gulamin ismuhu Yahya. Okay. Uh, ya Yahya, khudhi al-kitaba bi quwa. Wa ataynahu al-hukma sabiya. Uh, you have ya... Uh, oh, قد صدقت الرؤيا يا yeah, إبراهيم yeah, إبراهيم قد صدقت الرؤيا يا إبراهيم يا موسى is already there يا موسى right there okay so يا yeah, إبراهيم uh, you have يا yeah, جواد you can think of any yeah or people can think of any from Quran يا yeah. you already have يا شعيب يا شعيب does occur in the Quran not Allah calling him but people called him يا شعيب oh yeah um, yeah. And then you have Ya Nuh. Ya Nuh. Ya Nuh. Ya Nuh. Okay, that's enough. You notice all of them, now some of them are non flexible. So I'll yeah. color the ones that are non flexible. These ones in the middle just mm -hmm. turned out that way. Why are they non flexible? Because um, they're non Arab. No, because they end with Alif. Oh, yeah. You can't pronounce them any differently even if you wanted to. Remember that lady with the baby in the hospital? Mushu, mushi, mushu. Yeah. I mean, she could do that because that's her baby. But yeah. even though if one day he's going to get a little mom, please. <laughs> I'm at a meeting. <laughs> a speakerphone. Mushu, mushi. Like, you know. Yeah. So it's going to be Isa, Musa, Zakaria, Yahya, no matter what. Mm -hmm. But notice all the other ones. What status are they? Uh, Adamu, Dawudu, oh, Ibrahimu, Shuaibu, Nuhu. What status Hardly. are they? No, what status? Oh, status? Rafa, Rafa. Uh, Rafa. Rasub? <laughs> yes. So which one is it? Rafa. Yeah, they're always Rafa. The one you call should be Rafa. Now, they're non Arab, so they should be light. Yeah. But Nuh got citizenship. Because it's only three letters. Right, but it's still light. Yeah. You know why? When you call somebody, you have to make them light. Because mm. you can't be like, yeah, yeah, buaybum. Or, or shu'aib. Yeah. You, you yeah, can't shu say, you can't say, ya shu'aibun. You have to say, ya shu'aibu. Yeah. Okay, so when you call somebody, they're usually rafa, yeah. and you have to make them what? Light. Light. Okay, I'll say something cool about that. This is all from the Quran, right? And most of these, other than Ya Shu'aib, is Allah talking to these prophets. Yeah. So He says, Ya Adam. I would translate Ya Adam as Adam, 
Usko nanta was aujukal janna. I won't say oh Adam. Oh Adam is weird English. That's not yeah. even English. Mm -hmm. Okay, Adam, enter yourself and your your spouse into heaven. Ya Dawudu inna jaalna ka Khalifa tanfidat. Dawud, we have made you a Khalifa. This yeah. is a long discussion on the earth. Ya Isa inni mutawafika. Jesus, I am taking you away. Mm -hmm. Ya Musa, I it is I you know what is in your right hand, Musa. Ya Musa, Ya Zakaria. Zakaria, inna nubashiru ka bi ghulam. We're giving you good news of a boy you're going to have. Ya Yahya, khud al kitab bi quwa. Yahya, hold on to the book with all your might. Hold on to the law of Allah with all your might. Ya Qudus Sadiq al Ruh. Ya Ibrahim, you fulfilled the promise when he was willing to sacrifice his son. Ibrahim, you fulfilled your promise. Ya Shuaib, Ya Nuh, Nuh. But you don't find in the Quran what you don't find is Ya Muhammad. That doesn't happen. And he's the he's the prophet that Allah talks about more than any other. Yeah. He's the one that Allah is talking to him all the time. Mm -hmm. But you don't find Ya Muhammad. What you find is Ya Ayyuhan Nabi. Ya Ayyuhan yeah. Rasul. Yeah. And you find Ya Ayyuhan uh, Muzammil. Or Ya Ayyuhal Muddassir. It's pretty powerful. Allah never used his name. And the thing is, what he said, and Ayyuha is new, right? And yeah. You didn't see Ayyuha anywhere else. Yeah. Ayyuha is used when you want to call somebody. But by the way, when you want to call somebody like a, a word, not a name, because those were all names, right? Yeah. Those were all names. Mm -hmm. But what if you want to call somebody a word, like a word for boys, Waladun? Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say, hey, boy. Yeah. I'm going to say, ya walad, waladu. Yeah, waladu. I'm just going to say, ya waladu. waladu. I have to make it light. Mm -hmm. But notice, did I put al on it? No. No, no. because you don't put al after ya. Yeah. You can't say, ya al waladu. Mm -hmm. But what if somebody says, I really want to put al on it? Right? Yeah. I really want to just put al on it. Then what you have to do is you have to say, ya ayyuhal waladu. Yeah, if you say ayyuha, then you can put al. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So there were two ways of saying walad. Ya walad, boy, mm -hmm. or ya ayyuhal Ayyuh walad. Like, Which is more words? Uh, second one. Second one. And second one has more, it's, it's more powerful. Mm -hmm. You can even argue it's actually more respectful in some cases. Yeah. Okay, we'll break down, when I get you more advanced, I'll break down what does Ya do, what does Ayu do, what does Ha do, what does Al do, and then analyze Ya Ayyuhal yeah. Walad. But for now, this is more powerful, and in some cases more respectful, mm -hmm. than just Ya Walad. Yeah. Allah could have said to His Prophet, Ya Rasul, Ya Nabi, Ya Muzammil, Ya Muddathir. Or Ya Muhammad. Yeah. He used none of those. He used none of these. Yeah. He spoke to his Prophet, Ya Ayyuhal Nabi, Ya Ayyuhal Rasul, Ya Ayyuhal Muzzamil, Ya Ayyuhal Muddathir. Never even calling him by his name. Yeah. Calling him by his titles. Prophet. Messenger. The one wrapped in the blanket. Mm -hmm. The one covered up. What, is it, like, what does that mean? The one wrapped in the blanket? Yeah. He was terrified. And he was wrapped up in a blanket. He was shivering from fear oh. when he saw Angel Jibreel. Oh, okay. And Allah said, Ya Yuhal Muzzamil. Oh, okay. Ya Yuhal Muddathir. And he was wrapped up and he said, The one covered up. Qum. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Rise. Oh, okay. Fa'anthir. Warn. Oh, okay. That makes Allah more sense. Allah empowered the Prophet. And look at how he talked to him. Allah yeah. recognized the fear he was feeling. The shivers he was feeling. Mm -hmm. He didn't just say, Rise. Yeah. He said, Ya Yuhal Muzzamil. Rise. Mm -hmm. Like there's so much love in those words. Yeah. You know? And there's so much respect. Nobody ever calls somebody Ya Muzammil covered in hey, the one covered in blanket. Yeah. And then to use Ayuha on top of that. Oh my God. And you know what's even more incredible? Like all these prophets, Allah called them by their name, right? Yeah. But here Allah refused to call his final prophet by his name. He always called him by a title. Yeah. And and you know what? Some people called him by his name. There's a story about that. Some people came to the Prophet ﷺ, and they wanted to meet with him and they wanted to become Muslim. Yeah. Their whole tribe wanted to become Muslim. 
So they thought they're doing Islam a huge favor because if the whole tribe becomes Muslim, hundreds of people instantaneously, instantaneously add to the, the cause of Islam, yeah. right? So the Prophet ﷺ barely had an army, right? Yeah. So now if there's a few hundred people joining in a split moment, that's a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. So they felt like they're doing the Prophet ﷺ a big favor. Yeah. So they came to meet with the Prophet, but he wasn't coming out of the house yet. Yeah. He was doing something at home. So they, you know, they're, they're outside. They didn't have knocks back then. Mm -hmm. So they just used to call people from the outside. It wasn't like soundproof like today, right? Mm -hmm. There's like straw roofs and things like that. Yeah. So... So they, they're, they're waiting for him and they don't know proper manners yet. Mm -hmm. So all the other Sahaba, they used to call, all the companions, they used to call him Messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Nabi yeah. Allah, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody called him Muhammad. But these guys, these newbies, mm -hmm. these freshmen, yeah. they came and they said, Ya Muhammad, this word, Ya Muhammad, Ukhruj Alayna, come out, we want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So what words did they use? Yeah. Ya, ya Muhammad. Muhammad. Quran ever used Ya Muhammad? No. No. The Sahaba ever used Ya Muhammad? No. no. And now these guys are standing outside the Prophet's house, so and they're saying, Ya Muhammad, Ukhruj Alayna. Even though Muhammad's not a bad name, yeah. but Allah set a different standard for how to respect the Prophet, mm -hmm. and this was below that standard. Yeah. Right? So it's almost like, even though it's not even a close comparison, what do you call your dad? Padar. Padar. Yeah. If you went up to your dad and called him by his name, ah, La ilaha illallah. Yeah, Inna lillahi wa inna Yeah. Right? And would all the other siblings be offended too? Yeah. Yeah. Would the father be hurt also? Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Would your mom set you straight? Yeah. yeah. I'll hang you upside down. <laughs> okay. So all of that would happen because you called somebody by their name. Now, can his, his father call him by his name? Yeah. Yeah. Can his older brother call him by his name? Mm -hmm. Sure. But you can't call him by his name. Yeah. The same way Allah can call the Prophet by his name. Mm -hmm. But we can't call him by his name like yeah. that, right? Mm -hmm. But even Allah doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. Even Allah didn't say Ya Muhammad, even though he can. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So now these people come and they say, Ya Muhammad, Ukhruj Alayna. Allah reveals Quran mm -hmm. to answer that. They don't know any better. Yeah. So Allah says about them, Inna ladina yunaduna ka min wara il hujurati akhtaruhum la yaqilun, la yalamun. People who are calling you from outside your house, your, your apartments, most of them have no idea. Mm. They just don't know. Yeah. But then he says, Wala, before that he says, Wala tajharu lahu bil qawli ka jahri ba'dikum li ba'din an tahbata a'malukum wa antum la tashurun. Don't you, you better not call him the way you call each other. Oh yeah, I heard this side before. Right? Mm -hmm. You better not call him the same way you talk to each other. Yeah. Because if you do, all the good deeds you've ever done will be taken away and you won't even know. That's how serious it is to not show enough respect to Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So even when Quran does use the word Muhammad, which it uses four times, and then once it uses Ahmad, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Whenever it does use Muhammad, it mentions Rasulullah. Three times explicitly, one times implicitly. What that means is, Muhammad Rasulullah wa alladhina ma'ahu in Surah Al-Fatih. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِّنْ رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَاكِنْ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ in Surah Al-Ahzab or وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٍ in Surah Ali Imran or وَمُبَشِّرٌ بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ اسْمُهُ أَحْمَدٍ in Surah Al-Saf and then one time in Surah Muhammad وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِنُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَآمَنُوا بِمَا نُزِلَ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَهُوَ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِ The word Muhammad is used there, but it says revelation that came to him. Meaning he is a messenger by revelation. Right? So Allah uses his name, then he mentions his title or his great honorable role every single time. And that's a great honor that he's given to our Prophet ﷺ. Anyway, coming back to Ya. When you call somebody with Ya, you have to make the word light, yes? Yeah. So my name would be Ya Nu'manu. Right? Yeah. But sometimes, some people's names are a mudaf mudaf ilay. Some people's names are what? So if you know somebody named Abdullah, mm -hmm. Abdullah is actually a mudaf mudaf ilay. Yeah, because Abdu is light. light. Noel, Noel, the word Allah is? Ajar. Jar. So it's Abdullah, he is mudaf mudaf ilay. Okay. So if you know a friend named Abdullah, mm -hmm. or Abdu anything, yeah. Abdul Samad, Abdul Rahman, Abdul Karim, Abdul, Abdul Shakur, Abdul Hadi, all those guys mm -hmm. are all mudaf mudaf ilays. Yeah. Hey mudaf. <laughs> right? Yeah. So many names in Arabic, Abd are the most common example, yeah. are mudaf mudaf yeah. When you're calling a mudaf, mm -hmm. then it's no longer rafa, then it becomes nasab. So you don't say, Ya Abdullah, that's wrong Arabic. You have to say what? Abdul. Ya Abdullah. Ya Abdullah. So that's why your friends say that. If you have Arab friends, Ya Abdullah. Ya Abdullah. Okay? Yeah. 
So, Ya Abdur Rahman. Yeah. Abda. Mm -hmm. Okay, not Abdu. So, when you call a mudaf, it has to be Nasib. Yeah. So, Rasulullah, is that a mudaf mudaf uh, yeah. Rasulullah? Yeah. Yeah, Rasulullah is a mudaf mudaf mm -hmm. When the Sahaba called him, they never said, Ya Rasulullah. Yeah, that's right. When you call him, you got to say, Ya Rasulullah. Ya Rasulullah. Get it? Mm -hmm. So, by the way, if they just, if, if you just call somebody Ya Muslim, mm -hmm. then it's Rafa. Yeah. Because it's not a mudaf. Yeah. But if it was a mudaf, you have to say, then you have to say, Ya Muslima. Ya Muslima something. Ya Muslima the mudaf Yeah. Okay. So that's a little bit about the one being called. Questions about that? Please don't. <laughs> so one question was, what if somebody's name already starts with Alif Lam? Like what? Like Al Hassan. No, Al Hassan is the title. Uh, so if you call Ya uh, Al Hassan, you'll say Ya Hassan. Ya Hassan. Even if you call him Al Hassan, but other than that, yeah. The Al will go away. But that's not a Quran issue. Streaming is interrupting. Is that the case for you, uh, Jawab? Can you check? I don't have it. Somebody's saying it's glitching a lot. Two people said it. Since two people said it, I'm going to interrupt and restart. What do you think? Jawad? Give me... Uh, a second to refresh the stream and I'll check again. Okay, now some people are saying hello, which is scary to me. No, it's fine. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right, so that's the third item, mm -hmm. the one being called, oh, yeah. right? Pronouns are something you memorized a long time ago. <laughs> Slower and louder. Huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. You'll do the first line, you'll do the second line. Huwa huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antunna, anti antuma antunna. Say that again, Jawad. What was that? Are you saying something, Jawad? No, no, no. Okay, I think you weren't muted or something. Okay. Ana nahnu. Okay, now. You're going to say one pronoun, he'll say the meaning. Okay. Hua. He. Next one. Hum. Mm -mm. Huma. Yes. Both of them. Hum. Uh, all of you. No. Both of, all, all, all of them. All of them. They. They. Yeah. Start over. Hua. Or he. Who? Hua. Hua. Oh, hua. He. Huma. Both of them. Hum. They. Um, uh, who? Who? Wait, I, I don't know who. Who are home? Here. There you go. She. Homa. Both of them she's. Hunna. Uh, them she's. Okay, I'll take it. Anta. Uh, all of you. No, you. You. And Antoma. Uh, both of you. Antonna. All of you. Uh, Antom. Antom. All of you. Anto. Uh, um. Anti. You she. And Antuma, both you she's Antonna, all of you she's Anna, I, Nahnu, we. Good. So, first thing you memorized all of them. Yeah. Together with me. Hua, Huma, Hum. Hia, Huma, Hunna. Anta, Antuma, Antum. Anti, Antuma, Antunna. Anna, Nahnu. Number one, memorize. We got that. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Number two, meanings. Hua is he. he. Huma is both of them. them. Hum is they. they. Hia is she. she. Huma is, is both, both of them. them. Both of them female, doesn't matter. Yeah. Hunna is them ladies. Yeah. Ana, uh, anta is you. Antuma both, both of you. you. Antum Antuma all of you. you. Anti yeah. the feminine you. Antuma both of you women. Antuna you ladies. Y'all yeah. ladies. ladies. Ana, I, Nahnu, we. we. That's the second thing. The third thing is the attached pronouns. Hua becomes. Who? Or? Uh, he. Good. Hua becomes who or he. Yeah. Huma becomes. Huma or, or Hima. 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 H
Hum or him. Hum or him. Hia becomes only one thing. Ha. Good. Hia becomes ha. ha. Huma becomes Huma or, or Hima. Hum beca Hunna becomes Hunna and then Hinna. Hinna. Now there's only one answer going forward except Anna. Anta An ka. ka Antuma Koma. Antum Kom. Anti Ki, ki. Antuma Koma. Antunna Kunna. Anna uh, uh, um, uh, no, wait. Ana? E. Ka? Ni? Ni or E. Ana again? Ni or E. Nahnu? Uh, uh, na. Na. So you guys confuse Ana and Na together because they sound similar, mm -hmm. but they're across. Yeah. So Ana is Ni or E. Ni or Nahnu e. is? Na. 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 That's our third task. Mm -hmm. And our final task is the difference. What is the difference between the independent and the attached pronoun. What is the difference between hua and the attached version? Uh, you check the way the uh, the extra noon? The no oh. hua. You just oh, check the well, way. No. no, I know, but what's the difference? Why do that? Why do that? Uh, to make it light. To make it to. So attach it's already it light. To, no. to attach it. Somewhere. Why would you attach it? Uh, because uh, it's, the answer is so basic. All the original ones are what status? Oh, the rough so you can make a nestle board jack. That's right. That's the answer. The attached ones, you do, the reason you come up with an attached version okay. is because you need nestle and jar. Yeah. So the nestle and jar version of hua is who or he. Yeah. The nestle and jar version of huma is huma or hima. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, the one being called pronouns are always proper. All of them are always proper. Yeah. Okay, so you got to do four things with pronouns. These are the four things you got to do with pronouns. Yeah. If you don't do these four things, you don't know pronouns. If you don't know pronouns, you can't move on in Arabic. Okay. This is absolutely essential. Okay? Yeah. Then there's ismul ishara, pointers. We talk, yeah, we talked about this a little, I think. We, we talked about it a little bit, but we didn't really do it, do it. Yeah. Today, we will do it, do it. Okay. Okay? Say, Hada, Hadani, Haulai. Hada, Hadani, Haulai. Say, Hadihi, Hatani, Haulai. Hadihi, Hatani, Haulai. Hada, Hadani, Haulai. Hada, Hadani, Haulai. Hadihi, Hatani, Haulai. Hadi hatani haulai. Hada hadani haulai. Hada hadani Everybody out loud. Hada hadani haulai. Hada hadani haulai. Hadi hi hatani haulai. Hadi hi hatani haulai. Can you do it? Hada hadani. Okay, Hada Hadani Haulai. I agree. Hadihi Hada Hatani Hatani Haulai. Once again, Hada Hadani Haulai. Hadihi Hatani Haulai. Five times out loud. Hada Hadani Haulai. Hadihi Hatani Haulai. Hada hadani ha ulai, hadihi hatani ha ulai. 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 Five times, right? Your turn. Once you, once you. Hada hadani ha ulai. Hadihi hatani ula ha ulai. Good. Hada hadani ha ulai. Had hadihi um ha hata ha hatani hatani and then ha ulai. You doubt yourself too much. You know it and you still doubt yourself. You are way smarter than you think you are. You're super genius. <laughs> But you keep questioning yourself. Am I saying it wrong? Am I saying it wrong? So your brain says hatani, but somewhere in your heart it says, don't say it. You're probably wrong. You're probably wrong. Just don't say it. And you're like, no, I'm going to say it. And your brain says, I'm going to say it. And your heart says, don't do it. Don't do it. Be scared. Stay scared. 
and then you say ha, you're supposed to say hatani and you get to the ha part and then the scared part of you says come back ha 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 and your brain says no let me say hatani and your heart says no don't say it just don't anything you do just don't say it and then you finally ha ha ha, ha hatani <laughs> and your brain wins your brain is smarter overcome the fear you feel in your heart because you know it ha, and if you make a mistake make it with confidence just make a it's like Jumping in a pile of mud. Yeah. If you're gonna jump, just swim all the way in. It's okay. <laughs> all the way. Don't don't be yeah. don't hesitate. You got this. Mm -hmm. You're very, very good at it. So and all of you too, stop hesitating. That's what I used to just, say in school. Yeah. If I fail, I fail with confidence. With glory. Yeah. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> I fail my test, I fail with glory. Yeah. That <laughs> just don't. Okay. <laughs> yes. Somebody asked if this is even something that we need to learn. If he makes you memorize it, it's mandatory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off the screen for a second. Just a second. Did you get the panda? Shh. No, he's not getting the panda. Shh. Autumn jazz. Deeper concentration. Okay, so somebody asked if this is something we need to learn. This is the person who asked, is this something we actually even need to learn? And uh, here's my response in, in, in my panda outfit. <laughs> Why does that panda look so cute? That looks is, is this something we need to learn? Let's find out. <laughs> I think the answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, yes. The things I teach you are things you need to learn because they occur in the Quran, and I need to you know them like the back of your hand. Hada, hadani, haula. And by the way, they're on page thirty. If you're having trouble memorizing them, they're on page thirty. Hada, hadani, haulai. Hadihi, hatani, haulai. Hada, hadani, haulai. Hadihi hatani ha ulai. Do that one last time for me. Hada hadani ha ulai. Hadihi hatani ha ulai. Good. Za lika, za nika, ulaika. Za lika, za nika, ulaika. Tilka, tanika, tanika, ulaika. Tilka ta nika ulaika. Tilka ta nika ulaika. Only the white rows on page 31. Okay. Or 30, okay? Only the white ones. Forget about the gray ones. We don't care. Hada hadani ha ulai. Hadihi hatani ha ulai. Then dhalika dhanika ulaika. Say it out loud. Dhalika dhanika ulaika. Tilka ta nika ulaika. Five times out loud, everybody. Zalika, Zanika, Ulaika, Tilka, Tanika, Ulaika. Number two. Zalika, Zanika, Ulaika, Tilka, Tanika, Ulaika. Zalika, Zanika, Ulaika, Tilka, Tanika, Ulaika. Fourth time. Zalika, Zanika, Ulaika, Tilka, Tanika ulaika. Fifth time. Zalika, Zanika ulaika. Tilka, Tanika ulaika. Okay. You think you got it? Yeah, for sure. Let's see. Okay. Let me help you. Okay. I'm confident about abilities. Zalika, Zanika ulaika. Tilka, Tanika ulaika. Your turn. Zalika. Dalika, Danika, Dalika, Danika, Ulaika, Tanika, Tilka. Oh, oh, yeah, Tilka, Tanika, Ulaika. One more time. Dalika, Danika, Ulaika, Tilka, Tanika, Ulaika. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Hada, Hadani, Ha Ula, I Hadi, Hatani, Ha Ula, I Dalika, Danika, Ulaika, Tilka, Tanika, Ulaika. 
That's what you will give me with perfection tomorrow. Yes, sir. You have to know page 30 now perfectly. I didn't make you memorize it before, but now you're all grown up. Yeah. So you all have to know it. But just like page 18, you have to know it. This is what you have to know. These are all the pointers. Yeah. And they're always proper. That's Asma al Ishara. We move from the kid size to the adult size. That's right. We're on the adult size now. Now the Ism Mosul. Ism Mosul is not something we will deal with yet. Alladhi, Alladhani, Alatani, Alati. We're not going to deal with that yet. The time for it will come. But they are considered proper. And then the last one is a reminder that you all need. When we studied the Mudaf and Mudaf Ilay, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then we said that the Mudaf cannot tell you if it's proper or, or common. common yeah. You have to ask the, word after. the, the Mudaf, mudaf Ilay, which is literally what this says. It says, the word... The word before of is proper if the word after of is proper. proper. So if the word after of is mudaf ilay, this word word before of means what? Mudaf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? What you do what you doing? What you doing? Yeah. And word after of means what? Mudaf ilay. Mudaf ilay. Right? So the mudaf yeah. is proper if the mudaf ilay is proper. That's proper, what this number seven means. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now look at these examples at the bottom. Yeah. How do we know if Hada is proper or common? Because it's from the pointing words. That's a pointer, so it's proper. Yeah. How do we know if as suhuf and al ula are proper or common? If it's a mudaf. No. no. Is the word um, no. proper? No. <laughs> uh, Think. Why is a word proper or common? Don't look, get rid oh, of this page. Okay. Why is this proper? How many reasons can a word be proper? Uh, because four. four. Seven. 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 Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's because if it has al. There. Oh yeah, it yeah. Has al. It has al. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ibrahim. Oh, yeah. Ibrahim. That's a name, so it's proper. Yeah. Okay, now tell me this. Let's walk through this carefully. Suhufi. Okay. Could it be a mudaf? Yes. Yeah. It could be because, because, ja, because. Ja. No. No, oh, because no, it doesn't light have and al. It has no al. Light, no al. It could yeah. be jar. Okay. It could be mudaf. Yeah. Okay. Ibrahima. Ibrahim. Could it be jar? No. no. Is Ibrahim no. Arab or non Arab? It's non Arab, so it no, can be Arab. Uh, Partly flexible? No, it's non flexible. Partly flexible. Partly flexible. Yeah. So the uh, Rafa of Ibrahim is what? Ibrahima. Ibrahim. No, no, no. Ibrahimu Ibrahima Ibrahima. So could it be Jar? Yeah. Ah, so you forgot about that and you will have to remind yourselves. Yeah. This is Mudaf. This yeah. is Mudaf Mudafile. Let's do that again. Suhufi so could be Mudaf because it's light no al. Yeah. Ibrahima. Is jar because it, if it could be, it is, it is mm -hmm. and it, the foreign names are uh, you know the, the nasab or jar they look the same. Yeah. Ibrahima, yeah. right? So this is mudaf mudafile. Now here's the hard question: Is Ibrahima common or proper? Uh, it is. Common or proper? Proper. Yes. Why? Because of al. No, there's no al. Where's, where's, where's the al? Oh, no, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, because it's a name. Yes. Because it's a name. Yeah. Proper names are proper. proper yeah. Okay. Now this is proper. Okay, I can yeah, put a P fashion. here. I can be. I can put a P here. Yeah. For proper. Yeah. Okay. Tell me if suhuf is proper or common. Proper. Why? Because um the the mudafilay is proper. Yes. The because the mudafilay is proper. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was trying to get at. Got it. Yeah. So you, we stumbled quite a bit here because that means we need review, but that's a good thing. Anta. Proper or common? Uh, proper or common? Uh, what does what does anta mean? I don't know anta. Yeah, I, anta? I think I don't think you oh, ever memorized anta. 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 I don't think you ever heard of anta before. Anta. But what? Oh wait, no. Why am I thinking of that? I don't know anta or antuma or antum. I don't think you ever heard of these oh, words before it, at all. Oh wait, antum, antuma, antum. They're they're anta. common. They're common. Yeah. Go to page eighteen. No. I want to see these words numbered. I want to see these pages numbered tomorrow eight, with a pen. Eight. Mine are like half numbered. I have to get some of okay. them. You Mine have 18. not numbered any of them. Eight. What are they? Pronouns? Um, yeah. All pronouns are always what? Proper. Thank you. Pronouns are always what? Proper. Is anta a pronoun? Yeah. Mariam, is anta a pronoun? Yeah. So is it proper? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> because it's a pronoun. Yeah. Hillun. Proper or common? Hillun. Common. Yes, why? Because. Uh, simple answer. Simple answer. Because nothing to make it proper? Nothing. Oh. Nothing to make it proper? 
Noel. Noel. Oh yeah. Easy Noel. peasy. Yeah. Hadha. Proper or common? Hadha. Hadha. Oh, we had that. Okay. Yeah. Hadha. Proper or common? Uh, this would be proper. Good. Why? Because uh, the 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 are what pointers pointers are always proper. That's what I want you to get comfortable with. Al balad common or proper? Proper. Good. Home. Home. La Common or proper? Is it from here? Yeah. So everything from here. Home, yeah. Oh, well, home, I was looking at that. Um, yeah, home, this is that, proper. Yeah, it's proper, why? Because it comes from pronouns. It's pronouns. Pronouns are proper. Yeah. Okay, what kind of phrase is Rasulullahi? Mudaf and mudafilay. Good. Is the word Allah proper? Uh, the word Allah, pro uh, it is, yes. Because it's the name? Yeah. Okay, is the word Rasul proper? Yes. Why? Messenger. Yeah. Messenger. Why? It's For Islamic reasons? No, I want Arabic reasons. For an Arabic reason, because... Uh, you're like, come on, it's Rasulullah, it's proper. Hey, forget about it. No, I want to know grammatically why. What did I just call them? What's the relationship between these two? Give me five. What's the relationship between Naqatallahi? What can you tell? Naqata Allahi. Um, so the first one's light and has no al, so it's mudaf mudaf light. Okay. Naqata is common or proper? Common. It's proper because Once I ask you it's mudaf and mudaf Oh, it has to be proper. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because From what? Allah because is proper. Allah is proper. So tune your minds into this. Once I, once you figure out it's mudaf mudaf mm -hmm. then I'll ask you if the mudaf is common or proper. Okay. You will not get that answer from here. You will get that answer from here. Yeah. So naqata is what? Proper. 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 Anism has four properties. Mm -hmm. Naqa has four properties. Mm -hmm. But one property will come from here. Yeah. The other three are still going to come from here. It's mm -hmm. still nasab, right? Yeah. yeah. Because of the a sound. It's still feminine. Mm -hmm. It's still singular. Yeah. But it's proper from the word Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Ha. Ha. Oh, this is uh, it's proper. Because Good. Because it comes from pronouns. Pronouns yeah. are proper. Now you're getting quicker at identifying proper and common. common. That's that was your fourth property. Status, number, gender, and type. Alladi should it be proper or common? Alladi. Why? Proper. Good. Malahu. This is gonna be fun. How many words do you see in Malahu? Uh, three. No. Oh four. No. Not letters. Oh, How many four. words do you words? see? Words? Three? No. Words, one Two. Word. Two? Oh yeah, mal, mal and then and who? It has yeah. a pronoun, so it's attached, right? Right. So, so when it, mal means wealth. Okay. So let me ask you. I just told you mal means well, what? Wealth. Is wealth an ism, a fi'il, or a harf? Uh, it is an ism. Yeah. It's, it's not stuck yeah. in time. Yeah, it's not stuck. In it's time. a word that makes sense by itself. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a harf. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be an ism. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Is mal light and no al? Yeah, so it's a mudaf. Is the pronoun attached? Mm -hmm. Could it be nasab or jar? Because yeah. attached okay, pronouns yeah. can only be nasab or jar. So if it could be jar, then it is jar. So an ism and a pronoun together are what? Mudaf, mudaf and, and mudaf Which form. means this is the mudaf and this is the mudaf. So my question to you is, is mala proper or common? Proper, proper. because uh, the uh, pronouns are always proper, proper, so then it has to be proper too. Yeah. Genius. Arabic genius. You're going to do a PhD in Arabic. Watch. <laughs> Watch. Oop. Indicate whether the words are proper or common. Quickly. Five minutes. What page is it? Destroy this page. 16. 15? 16. 16. 16. Uh -huh. 16, 16. It's the one after um, a common versus proper. I just want CP. passed it. Yeah. I just want C or P. C or P? Mm hmm Okay. No reason? I don't, don't don't write the reason. Just give me C or P. Fill it up in five minutes. Oh my goodness. Everybody. This is page 16.
Fine. Uh, I think it's the one before. Let me help you. Okay, I need to number these pages. I should have heard the struggles of your pages <laughs> and realized something is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's, it. that's 18. This is 18. Yeah. This is 17. This. Oh, thank you. Jazakallah, hi, brother. Jazakallahu Jazakallahu Khairan Khairan My Arabic students say, don't say Jazakallah Khair Because they know that's not Arabic Jazakallahu Khairan is Arabic yeah. Khair, when you stop at Khair That means it sounds like it's Rafa or Jar Which yeah. it's not, it's Nasab So you have to say Jazakallahu Khairan Khairan or Khaira That's okay too Or just leave it as Jazakallah if you get, want to do that yeah. But Jazakallah Khair brother That means you don't know Arabic Okay, okay I did all the easy ones. I did all the ones with alphabets because yeah. those are like the easiest. Nah, don't be so sure. Really? Not saying nothing. Okay. Well, that makes it proper. Yeah. And I can't have tanween, so. Allah is proper. Yeah, so it becomes harder. Nisa, ooh. I'm not saying I'm just looking over to make you nervous, that's all. And it works too. I just want you to know. Seriously, Leo? Seriously? Seriously. It's the best thing you can do. Just walk over to a student and say, seriously? <laughs> and start erasing all their answers. They become sure of, unsure of even their own name. Musa, yeah, so Musa. So a name would be proper. Yeah. 17 is Zalika, so what does that be? Musa. Seventeen is Zalika. Zalika is a pointer. Yeah. Zalika, a pointer has to be called a proper. Yeah. Did you put proper? No, I put common. Oh. Hua, it's proper. Nope, not. Hua hama hum. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she just wants to mess up. I already put proper that one. Um. Okay, you look over my shoulder to check. I already have everything you have and more. What are you talking about? It's not a race. See, this is the rising sun. You know you can hear it, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm whispering. Okay, so this would be... 
and we're out of bite, so we'll move on. Move off, move off, you guys. This is proper. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, okay. we have a like 50%, I guess. Like yeah, you skipped some. That's okay. Five, six, let's seven. make this efficient. First, find all the words that have al on it and put them as proper. Okay, nine. So that's number one. Number yeah, one. Number what one, else? Number four. Five, number five. Five, six, six. Number six. Seven. Seven. Number seven. Eleven. Twelve. Number eleven. Yeah, 11. 11, yes. 12. No, not 12. Oh, 12. Right. No. no. And I'm, on the other eight. side, I'm going to go backwards. Okay. Number 18. 18. 18. Number 13. 18. Number 11. 11. 10. 10. 10. 9. 5. 2. 5? It wasn't 5, it was 6. Oh, 6, sorry. 6, six and six. 2. 6, 4, and 2, yeah. 4? No, not, not 4. 4. Yeah. Uh, all Who the L's. Oh. I eliminated all the L's. Oh, yeah. L is proper. Yeah. yeah. That's like not no-brainer, right? Let's do another shortcut. If you find a pronoun, if you find a pronoun uh -huh. or a pointer, mm -hmm. mark it as proper. Yeah. So let's go down this list. Uh, uh, I'll start with In one. the first column, there's no pronoun or pointer. Uh, the second one, there is one. Where? Hua. Uh, hua. Hu Pronouns are always proper, proper so you yeah. can put that as proper. And 17. And then that 17, Dalika, is a pointer. Yeah. Those are always proper. So that's done too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Now let's go back. If you find somebody's name, it's proper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see in the first case. First column, is there anybody's name? Uh, da, 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 da. I see a name. Uh, Rasul. No. Mm -mm. That's just the title. Uh, uh, Muhammad. No. Before then. Muhammad Dan. Before then. Look up. Uh, Look up. Oh, yeah, what I do? Look up. No, no, that's not somebody's name. Nuh. Oh, I Nuh. 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 Oh, Nuh. Yeah, oh Nuh. I didn't even look at that one. Yeah. Is that not a name? It is. It's a prophet. Okay. And then Mariam is a name? Mariam? Where is that oh, one? Mariam oh, Mariam is I eight. I didn't even see that. Yeah. And what else is a name? Muhammad. Muhammad is a name. Go to the next column. Uh, there is... Yeah, Adam. Adam yeah. is a name. Adam. Sure. Uh, I'll take that. What else? Fir'aun. Fir'aun is a name. Uh, Musa. Musa is a name. Yeah. Those are all proper. Yeah, half of it. Okay. If you see ya on any phrase... When you call somebody, they're proper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you see ya on anything, mm -hmm. then it's proper. The beginning? Anywhere. Yeah, in the beginning. Ya alif. Ya alif? Yeah. So what's number four? Yeah, number, yeah, yeah. yeah That's why it's proper. Because uh, ya can only be in the beginning? For it to right. Be proper. Okay. It has to be ya alif, right? Yeah, ya alif. So ya waladu? Uh, ya ya adam was already marked? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any others. Right? Yeah, there's yeah. no others. Okay. Now, what's left... If you see something that has tanween on it, mm -hmm. common. On or in, and mm -hmm. it's not a name, yeah, that's common. Yeah. So go but, go down the first list. Uh, seventeen. No, no, the first oh, list. Oh. Two. Two. Two is common. Uh, no, I'm looking for tanween right now. Oh, tanween. Okay. Tanween, tanween, tanween. Uh, Musa, Musaddiqan. Musaddiqan. How about Muhammadan? No? No, because that's no, a name. Musaddiqan will be common, right? Yeah. Muhammadan wouldn't be because it's a name. You're yeah. right. You're right. Nisha'u? No. Not a tanween, so we'll leave that one. Okay. Mu I mean, yeah, no. No. Kanzun? Kanzun, 15. 15. Wujuhun, 17. 17. On the other side, I'm working backwards. Ulamin, 18, right? Let's go from the top on the other side. Uh, Maradan. Maradan. Yeah, Maradan. Ardan. Ardan. Sawt Adabin. Hmm, we'll come back to that one. Okay. Khatiatin. Then we on it. Number 14. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm hmm. That we eliminated quite a few. And we'll do that later. Okay. When there's two words, we'll do them later. Okay. Okay? Now let's see if, if you see combinations mm -hmm. without al. Without combination, without Start at the top. If you see any combinations without al, they got to be common. 
Ustad. Yes. A lot of people are asking why Fir'aun is proper if it's not a name. As far as we're concerned, it's a name. It's used as a name. In the Quran, it's used as a name. If it's coming from a non-Arabic language, which it is, we'll consider it a name. Uh, and then would be common. Good. Because it has... Uh, number six? Yeah, number seven, uh, 14. 14, good. Yeah. 14 mm -hmm. would be common. Yeah. Good. Uh, another one would be... Your that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, what's left? Uh, 13. 13. 13 is left. First one. 16. 16. 12. 7. Okay, so let's start with 16. 16. Tell me what could be the connection between the first word and the second word, given the way they are. You can see that clearly? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the word that's highlighted is the second word, which makes it even easier. Is it common yeah. or proper? Uh, common. common. But even if I asked you about the first word, fakku, yeah. as opposed to raqabatin, even that one, you cannot tell a mudaf is common or proper until you ask the... Mudafile. And the mudafile has what answer? Common. Anyway, you look at it, it's common. Yeah. Number 16, the answer is common. Let's go to number 12. 12. Ashabul Maymanati. Ashabu is light, no alif lam. Yeah. Al Maymanati is jar, which makes yeah. it a mudaf and a mudafile. Now, the mudafile is definitely proper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because of that, even the mudaf is proper. proper. Even though in this question I'm asking you about the mudaf ilay, because that's the one that's highlighted. Mm -hmm. But the pro proper is the answer anyway. Yeah. Anyway, you look at it. Let's go to number 7. Sawta Adabin. What does what seems to be the relationship between these two words? <laughs> you can see that clearly, right? Yeah. Okay. Light no aliflam followed by jar. Jar, yeah. Right? Is the mudaf ilay common or proper? Common. common. It is common. Which makes the mudaf also what? Common. common. That's why the answer is common. So and then nisa. No, we'll do nisa at last. Okay. Let's do Rasulullah number seven. Rasulullah would be the mudaf? Yeah. The word Allah would be the mudafile? Yeah. Because the word Allah is the mudafile, it is what's what what proper. Proper. Therefore, Rasul is also proper. That's why the answer is proper. Yeah. Okay? And then Nisa. And I saw you do this one, Matla Shams, or not, let's do number twelve, Narullah. No. What's the mudaf? What's the mudafile? Uh the mudaf is Naru and mm -hmm. Allah he is mudafile. The word Allah is mudafile, yes. Yeah, the word Allah. So is the word na proper or common? Uh, proper. Because, proper. Allah because of the word Allah, yes. Yeah. Number 16, Matla Ashams, or Matli Ashams, sorry. Matli Ashamsi. Is this a mudaf mudafile? Yes. yes. Yeah, totally. Light no alif lam followed by jar. And, and because the second word is proper, yeah. Yeah. the mudafile is proper, therefore the mudaf is proper. proper. So far, so good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'll tell you the complication in number 13. That's the only one left? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Everything else is solved, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pay attention to number 13. You see, in the Arabic language, when a word has al on it, then it becomes allergic to tanween. Yeah. So I would understand that this is light mm -hmm. be or it doesn't have tanween because of al. Yeah. But the problem is in this example, it doesn't have al. Mm -hmm. Right? If it was clearly common, if it was clearly proper, it would have al on it. Yeah. If it was clearly common, it would have tanween on it. Yeah. It has neither. Yeah. So I'm going to have to say I don't know mm. because it actually looks like a mudaf. Do you see that? Nisa'u yeah. looks like a mudaf? Mm -hmm, there's no al. There's no al. So what if you, if I take a phrase from the Qur'an and complete it? What if I said... Read that for me. Nisa'u. Nisa'ukum. 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 Yeah. Now I can say that this is a mudaf. Yeah. Not. And this is a mudaf ilayhi. Yeah. Okay, Gum is an attached pronoun. Yeah. yeah. Attached pronouns can only be nasab or jar. jar yeah. This time it's jar, so this would be a mudaf and mudafile. So. Now, if I asked you if nisa'u is proper or common, what would you say? Proper. That you would actually say proper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not going to say proper because we don't see a kum. Yeah. But what if I change this? What if I say the women of a religion? Nisa'u nisa dinin. Nisa is the mudafile common? 
If it was common, then the word nisa would have been common. common. Yeah. I don't know what the mudafile is. Yeah. I don't know if it is common or proper. proper. So just by looking at nisa, it's the only one I couldn't tell. Yeah. Because it looks like a mudaf, mm -hmm. I couldn't tell. Yeah. Because I have to train myself to realize a mudaf will not tell me, even a suspect mudaf mm -hmm. will not tell me if it's common or proper. Yeah. You got that? Mm -hmm. Questions about that, everybody? So we just leave it blank? Yeah, you leave, put a question mark there. Okay. No questions about this specific one, but we have questions about others. Yes, please ask. 16 on the second column. 16. Oh, yeah, okay. What about it? Do I think it just it? needs to be explained again. Okay. Uh, they look like a mudaf and mudafile to me. And the basic reason they look like a mudaf and mudafile is the first word is light, no oh. al. And the second word is jar. Yeah, yeah. Right? When two isms come together, first one's light, no alif, the second one's jar, they become a mudaf and a mudafile. Um, in fikak or fakkatun, this word in Arabic is actually means to cut apart, to, yeah. to separate. Raqaba means the neck. Mm -hmm. To separate the neck from a chain yeah. actually means freeing a slave. Yeah. Because slaves used to have these collars on their necks. Mm -hmm. And when you break that for them, that means you freed a slave. Yeah. So let's talking about the good deed of freeing a slave. The freeing of a slave, you can think mm -hmm. of it like that. Yeah. Literally means the snapping of a neck or the, the breaking of a neck. But what it means is the, the freeing of a neck. Yeah. Okay. Because freeing a slave was the same as freeing a neck. Yeah. It's really cool that in Arabic, um, people that are enslaved mm -hmm. or imprisoned... Yeah are described as people that are choking. Yeah, okay. And when you're choking, you can't breathe. Mm -hmm. And so many cultures in the world, when you experience freedom, mm -hmm. they say, I can breathe the free air. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. I can breathe free. Mm -hmm. Right? So uh, the prison, imprisonment and enslavement is described as suffocating. Yeah. Also, people that are in debt, like when you owe somebody a lot of money and you're not mm -hmm. able to pay it back and stuff like that, then you're also suffocating and freeing that neck also. It's yeah. also called freeing a neck, mm -hmm. meaning you're paying somebody's debt so they're no longer in debt. Yeah. Right? Those are some of the best deeds Allah mentions you can do for another person. So, fakura qabatin, the first word is light, no al. The second word is clearly jar. Yeah. That's why they are mudaf mudaf ilay. Now, mm -hmm. if I ask for the four properties of the first word, it would be singular. Mm -hmm. It would be rafa because of the u at the end. Yeah. It would be masculine because there's no sign of feminine. And I don't know if it's common or proper because you have to ask the mudafile. Yeah. The mudafile says, a neck, rakabatin, yeah. common. Because it's common, this guy becomes common. Mm -hmm. But the question was, because this is highlighted in gray, this was the question, so it's common anyway. Yeah. So that would be the review of that. Any others? Somebody's asking if a word has tanween, can we always assume or can we automatically assume it's common? If a, students, if a word has tanween, can we automatically assume that it's common? I want you to type in your answers. If a word has tanween, can we assume it is always common? Let me make that smaller. What do you think the answer is, guys? Uh, I want to know. What do you think? A lot of people are saying no. Uh, I think... Okay. Well, if you're saying no, then you better give me an example of something with tanween that's proper. I think, yeah, every time it has like tanween, it's most likely going to be common. Okay. If you think every time it has tanween, most yeah. likely it's going to be common. Just by this chart. So. Let's try Muhammadun. Uh -huh. Has tanween. Is that common? Oh, no, it's no, proper. It's oh! Oh, yeah, because if it's a name. If it's a name, it won't work. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, sure. Yeah. That's why I said most of the time. Yeah. See, I didn't call myself. Okay. There. Good so catch. I didn't, so I didn't, like, chew myself up as a mistake. Big brain. Yeah, because Arab names can have tanween. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Other question numbers? I think somebody threw out a 12. 12? I'm yeah, there's 12, 12 in the second column. Okay, Ashabul Maimana? Is it referring to Ashab al I believe so. Okay. A 
أصحاب الميمنة. So light and no al. Yeah. And the next word is jar, mm-hmm. which means they're definitely mudaf and mudaf ilay. Yeah. If they're mudaf and mudaf ilay, how do you? Well, this word has al on it, so it's definitely proper. Yeah. But ashabu is a mudaf, right? Yeah. And a mudaf can be proper only if. Is the mudaf ilay proper in this yeah. case? Yeah. Yes. So that's why it's proper. Okay. Yeah. We're pretty good at where we are right now. Alhamdulillah. I think uh, four properties of the ism is something now we're ready for. So what I'm going to do now. Is that is the page, that is page seventeen? I want four properties of every word on page seventeen. This is a big homework. Every word, fifty-seven. Uh, yeah, every word. Yeah. So what I want you to do, I'm gonna do the first nine in class. Mm-hmm. I will do them, and mm-hmm. you will ask if you get stuck. Yes. Okay. Um, but I will. Uh, do all four properties status you see s and g t on top mm-hmm. means status number gender type yeah <clears throat> we're gonna write it for short but when we do that every time you don't understand something then we'll come back and we'll yeah. figure it out together okay so the easy way to do this is let's start with nuhan let's just do all four of nuhan and then all four of the word Allah and things like that okay Status of Nuhan because of the an sound is nasab. Yeah, nasab. You would agree? Yes. Yeah. Nuhan is one person. So it's singular? It's singular. I don't even want you to waste space writing slash. Just write n1. Just write So don't even write the slashes in between. Okay. It just clutters it up. N1. n1. The gender of Nuh, he's a man, so it's definitely masculine. Masculine. Right? And the word one, I don't want you to think of one as I. So now, So the way I want you to write it is like this. N, one, M. N one M. Okay. okay, and then the type Nu has a person's name or no? Uh, yeah. yeah. Therefore, it's proper. So I'm gonna write P. P. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll since I can see number four on the screen right now, I'll just do number one and four together. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number four, yeah. Makithina has an ending combination ina. Yeah. That comes from the masculine chart, chart. and it's in the plural column. Yes. Yeah, so which they're... means the status is nasab jar, jar yeah. nj. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. No, you you went too far, number oh. four. Nj. Nj. Everybody clear about that? Yeah. yeah. It's from the plural column, so the number is three. Three, yeah. The gender is from the masculine chart, so, so it's, it's masculine. masculine. There's no al on it. So Which means that it's common. common yeah. Mm-hmm. So we, we got four properties. Yeah. Why is it doing that to me? I do not know. Okay, now the word Allahi. The word Allahi is singular because I don't mm-hmm. want to go to hell. Yeah. The okay. word Allahi is jar form. Yes. Because of the, sorry, uh, Status is jar form, sorry, yeah, jar, jar first. Jar form. It's singular. Singular. The gender has no sign of feminine, so it's yeah. masculine. Yeah. And of course, it's Allah's name, so it's proper. Yeah, proper. I should have wrote J1. Yeah, J1. Mm-hmm. J1. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Uh, Ibrahim ends with the A sound, yeah, but so. because it's a non Arab name, it's partly flexible. Okay, so. so in Rafa, it's Ibrahimu. In yeah. Nasib or Jar, it would be Ibrahima. So, so the status would be NJ. NJ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's, one, it's uh, one person, mm-hmm. so it's singular. Yeah. The gender is obvious from common sense. It's masculine. It's masculine and because yeah. it's a specific name, it's proper. proper yeah. We got four properties of the word Ibrahim. Yeah. Sajidina. Sajidina. It comes from its. Uh, it's a combination. It's a combination, yeah. And that combination tells me the status could be nasab or jar. jar. Yeah. It definitely tells me it came from the plural column. Yeah. So, so it's three. Three. And then it's definitely from the masculine chart, so it's masculine. And, and there is no sign of proper because there's no al on it. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna say that it's common. Common. Atiyatun. Atiyatun. It's common. It's. Uh, it's the status first. Yeah. The un sound tells me that it's rafa. Uh-huh. Yeah. The round ta is always for a singular, pretty much. Yeah. So we're gonna go with singular. Mm-hmm. Okay, one. Yeah. And the gender from this word, I can tell the tamar buta. Yeah. I'm gonna go yeah. with feminine. feminine. And there's no al on it, so I'm gonna go with common. Common. So R one, F C.
Okay, let's go back. Now I'm doing number seven. Okay. Al Qarnaini. Al Qarnaini is a combination. Yeah. It's the pair combination. Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini. So it's it's uh, it's Nasib or Jar. So N J. Uh, the number is two because it's from the pair column. Yeah. There's no sign of feminine, so I'm going to go with masculine. masculine. And it's proper because it has al on it. Mu'arraf billam. Okay. So it doesn't seem that hard. No, not when I explain it. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. I'm like a really good like explainer and stuff. Yeah. Ustad? Like yeah. On number four, there's a question about ma. Uh, people are asking, is it ma and is it musul? And that would make it proper. Number four? Yeah, oh, makithin. Oh, makithin is one word. Makithina is one word. So, no. It's not what kithina. It's, it's makithina is just one single word. And when you do self, you'll tell when, when it's one word and when it's multiple words. So, no, ma is not separated. It's part of the name. Okay. Ummatan. Ummatan. Um, the status ten. would be nasab because nasab, of the yeah. ending sound. Yeah, tan goes with tan. It would be singular because the tan is, you know, the, the sound. It's, 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 it, or that letter tells you singular. And yeah. It also tells you feminine. Yeah. So one feminine. Mm -hmm. And then it is common because it has no yeah. sign of al. Uh, There's no al, yeah. so, and it has tanween on it, so that would be common. Ummin. 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 This is interesting. Ummin is jar because of the in yeah. sound. Is that clear? Yeah. Min comes from in. Ummin means mother. Mother. So, so it's just one person. One. Yeah. It is. It is feminine because mothers are feminine. Yeah. Not because of the ending letter. The meme is not feminine. But it's the meaning sense. is common sense. It's real feminine. Yeah. So we don't have to look for fake feminine this time yeah. because it's actually really feminine. And it's common. And it's common. Now your the skill that you have now is to be able to identify mm -hmm. um, the the four properties of a word. Now I'm going to only help you just a little bit. Let me go through the ra'i we did before Isa al Fuj number twelve. I want you to write something in number twelve, small on top, really small. I want you to write H B P. Mm-hmm. Okay, and number 13, I want you to write NHBP. 13? Mm hmm. So, what did you write in number 12? HBP. Uh, HBP. Number 45, put an X on it. We're not doing 45? Uh-uh. Number 49, oh, sorry, number 40, yeah, number 47. 47, mm-hmm. al -Qasasi? No, don't put anything on number 47. Number 49, number 49, put NHBP. Number 51, put NHBP. That's it. Okay. That'll, that'll help you with those you don't know yeah. meanings of, right? Yeah. Now thanks the, to YouTube, I can't get like the meanings of every one of these. Thank you, YouTube. Appreciate that. Let's talk about Misr. Misr. Misr in Arabic means Egypt. I told you places are partly flexible. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So it should be mis but if there are three letters, they should be fully flexible. Yeah. So it should be misrun. 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 But the really interesting thing in the Quran is even though it's three letters, yeah. Egypt is not said like this. Egypt is said like misru. Misru, misra. Misra and misra. Uh, partly okay. flexible. Yeah. Even though it's three letters. So Egypt is like, hey, wait. I'm three letters. I should get full citizen treatment. Yeah. Why are you treating me like a partly flexible? Mm -hmm. What did I ever do? Yeah. Here's what happened. The word for Egypt is mm -hmm. Misr. Yeah. 
But even without the word Egypt coming from Egypt mm -hmm. over to the Arab lands and saying, hey, by the way, mm -hmm. hi, I'm, I'm Egypt. <laughs> you can call me Misr. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is the Arabs already had a word called Misr. Oh, okay. A regular old Arabic word. Misr. Misr, which meant countryside. Oh, okay. It didn't mean the empire of Egypt. Mm -hmm. It just meant, oh, kind of like a barn and yeah. a farm and people, horses running around. Yeah. They used to call that what? Misr. Misr, countryside. Yeah. Okay. So the Arabs have a happy old word called Misr. Yeah. Like this, imagine this Misr is like a farmer. Mm -hmm. And this Misr is like a king from a, a foreign king. Yeah. This one comes and says, I should like to have complete status as an Arabic word. Yeah. <laughs> and the Arabs say, well, there's a farmer that's already got it. Yeah. I'm sorry that we normally give it out mm -hmm. to three letter words. But unfortunately, Misr is already taken by an Arabic word. Yeah. So, so you're going to have to, it's, it really never happens, but this time it did happen. So yeah. Egypt, you're going to have to be partly flexible. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But you know why? Because there was a, it was already there in Arabic. Yeah. Now here's the amazing thing. In the Quran, there are different words. And in Arabic, there are different words for countryside. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use Misr. You can use any word for countryside. Mm -hmm. But the word that sounds like Egypt even though that wasn't the intention originally, but yeah. it sounds like Egypt is which one? Misran. 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 Now check this out. The, the followers of Musa, السلام, the Muslims of that time, yeah. they were slaves of the Egyptian empire, yeah. Misra. Right? Yeah. And they escaped by Allah's mm -hmm. permission. Yeah. Right? Allah opened up water for them, mm -hmm. and they escaped through the water, and the armies of the Pharaoh drowned, and they were out in the middle of the desert. Mm -hmm. Now they finally have freedom after being slaves for hundreds of years. Yeah. Okay? So, after finally tasting freedom, mm -hmm. imagine people that were in prison or yeah. enslavement for hundreds of years and now they're finally free. Mm -hmm. You know what they call it? The taste of freedom. Yeah. I can finally taste the freedom. 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 But they're in the desert. Yeah. There isn't exactly a McDonald's in the <laughs> desert. Yeah. So, like, freedom! It's... Kind of hot though, as a, what are, so now that we're free, what are we having for lunch? Because when they were slaves, they used to have food. Yeah. They used to have a cruddy cell for a home, mm -hmm. but it was still a roof over their head, right? Yeah. But now they're in the desert. Mm -hmm. We're like, freedom! Yeah. Now, you ever see Finding Nemo? Yeah. Okay. You know when they finally get out of the tank? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're in the ocean? Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah! Woo! Yeah! Ooh, and then one of them goes, now what? <laughs> right? <laughs> kind of like that. Yeah. And it's getting hot. Mm -hmm. So they ask Musa alayhi salam, we're running out of food, we're running out of water, there's no trees here, it's mm -hmm. desert. Yeah. How are we going to survive? Mm -hmm. So Musa alayhi salam prays to Allah. Mm -hmm. And what Allah does is, He helps the Israelites, these Muslims of that time. Yeah. They're not a different religion. We should think of them as Muslims, ourselves. Mm -hmm. They were us back then. Mm -hmm. He, he gives them clouds that follow them like an umbrella. Oh, al ghamar So the sun would not beam on them. Mm -hmm. Their roof became clouds. That's, that's cool. Right? Yeah. So when, as they traveled, mm -hmm. the cloud would travel over them. That's... Okay? Now, the problem was, we don't have food. Yeah. Because we, nothing grows here. Mm -hmm. So in addition to the rain coming from the clouds... Yeah. Allah started sending seeds from the clouds that would go into the ground and they can grow wheat which they can make bread from. Yeah. So now they could actually make bread in the middle of the desert. Yeah. So the cloud was giving them food mm -hmm. and it was giving them shade yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Then we're, we're like, we can't just eat bread. Breads are good carbs, but we need some protein. Yeah. Protein comes from meat. Mm -hmm. There's no animals around. Yeah. So Allah tell, sent them uh, al-man and, and a salwa. Salwa is a kind of quail a really delicious bird yeah. and it would come you, if you ever try to catch a pigeon what does it, what does it do? oh yes I'm a, I it, caught it, a pigeon before yeah. you've caught a pigeon before? Uh, with the fishing net in Florida. Yeah. with a net? Yeah. yeah. what yeah. if you try to catch it by running? Oh, it's, it's gonna like fly away it's yeah. impossible mm -hmm. yeah. I can't even catch a chicken <laughs> forget a you know, <laughs> yeah. you know? <laughs> so the idea is they couldn't catch these birds yeah so Allah created a kind of bird mm -hmm. that would come and it would come and sit down and they can walk over and capture it wouldn't even fly away. Mm. Now they've got shade, they've got carbs, water too, and they've got 
proteins and they're like we need more water we need to bathe we need yeah. to you know clean, our we need clean ourselves we need to wash our clothes we need to drink more yeah. now rain's not enough so Musa alayhi salam was commanded by Allah to take, there was a boulder nearby, mm -hmm. like a dry rock boulder, yeah. and he hit it, and 12 waterfalls came out. Oh, for the 12 tribes? 12 tribes. Yeah. So now they've got water, mm -hmm. they've got bread, they've got meat, and they've got shade. Shade, yeah. So for breakfast, they had quail, yeah. or that bird, mm -hmm. and some bread. Yeah. For lunch, they had some bread and some quail. And for dinner... Quail. Quill bread mix. Yeah. What's for breakfast tomorrow? Hey, what do you want to eat tomorrow? I think some bread too. Oh, bread and quail. Yeah. I think for lunch we should have bread and quail though. Yeah. And dinner? I don't know what I'm in the mood. Bread and quail. <laughs> They're eating the same thing for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner, day after day after day after day. Do you understand? For weeks or like for these days? Weeks. Oh, okay. They get tired of it. And then one time, someone, one of them is sitting back and going, man, remember back in Egypt, we used to have like garlic. Remember garlic? Oh, it tastes so good on a pizza. Mm -hmm. And lentil, like dal, mm -hmm. and onions, dal? cucumbers, mm -hmm. oh, salads back then. I used to put that stuff on the meat, and oh my God, I, oh, it's so good. So they haven't had that for a while. Yeah. When did they have it? Back in Egypt. Yeah. So after a while, after talking about that food and mm -hmm. almost tasting it in their mouth, yeah. they go to Musa and say, uh, Could you uh, pray to Allah? You prayed to Him for clouds. Yeah. We, we hook it up. Mm -hmm. You prayed to Him for birds and bread and, you know, pretty appreciated. So yeah. how about, um, could you call on Him and uh, He could bring out some garlic, lentil, onion, you know, it's kind yeah. of like, because we could have the food that we used to have back in the day. Yeah. Musa was so upset when he heard this. You people were slaves. Mm -hmm. Not weeks ago, you were slaves. Yeah. And the Pharaoh had decided to actually execute every one of you, man, woman, and child. Mm -hmm. And Allah freed you from that by mm -hmm. parting water. Yeah. And then he brought you into this freedom. Mm -hmm. Now, freedom tastes not as good. Yeah. And you're out and you're free, and you're missing the food you used to have back when you were in, sla in, in, in enslavement. Yeah. Tell me something. If somebody comes out of jail mm -hmm. and says, man, I miss prison food. <laughs> when somebody says, I miss prison food, it's basically the same as saying, I miss prison. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like I don't appreciate freedom. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, what's the Arabic word for Egypt? Misr. Misr. But it's partly flexible. Misru. Misra, Misra. But Musa alayhi salam said, he was so angry with them. He said, You want to replace something better that you have, meaning freedom, mm -hmm. Allah's given rizq, with something worse? That's what you want. You want to replace it. Okay. Ihbitu Misran. Go, you know what? Settle down in some countryside. Yeah. He didn't say Misra, that would be Egypt. Yeah. He said, Misra. Misran. Countryside. Go settle down in some countryside. You'll get what you asked for. Now if I told you, buddy, you got what's coming for you. You're going to get what's coming for you. Yeah. Oh, you're going to get what you asked for, all right. Inshallah, Does that sound like a threat? You're going to get what you asked for. Yeah. Yeah. The word he used for a countryside is Misran, mm -hmm. which is awfully close to the word what? Misra. Misra. And this was actually almost sarcastic, as if Musa is saying, I think you guys are missing Egypt. You want another one. Yeah. You'd like another Misr. Yeah. So he didn't use Misra exactly, but he used something close enough yeah. to make them realize what they're saying. Yeah. So that even though any other word could have been used for settle down in some farmland, settle down Baladan, Ardan, something. Mm -hmm. But he used the word Misran to bring them to make them realize what you've asked for is you don't ex don't realize you've escaped. Misr, yeah. I think you're asking for another Misr, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But So Misran in one place in the Qur'an is fully flexible like this. It mm -hmm. means countryside. Mm -hmm. But other places in the Qur'an, أَلَيْسَ لِي مُلْكُ مِسْرَ وَهَذِهِ الْأَنْهَارُ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِي The evil Pharaoh said, مُلْكُ مِسْرَ 
Now we're going to figure this out because you guys know enough Arabic and then we'll call it a day. Okay. Mulku Misra. Is the first word light? Yes. No. Does it have, is it yeah. light? Mudaf and Mudafileh. Yeah. Misra. Could it be Jar? Yeah. yeah. Because it's, it's part Egypt. Of yes. Misra Misra. Yeah. M Mulku means kingdom. Yeah. Misra means what? Egypt. Egypt. Mulku Misra means what? Kingdom, kingdom of, of Egypt. Egypt. Alay Sali Mulku Misra. Do I not alone own the kingdom of Egypt? Wahadihi al Anharu Tajri bin Tahti. You know the E and I attached? Yeah. And these rivers, they flow under my feet. That's how he used to speak. Allah? No, that's the that's the Pharaoh talking. Oh. Don't I alone own the kingdom of Egypt? Don't these rivers you know, flow under my feet? Allah says, oh, rivers flow under your feet, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll show you a river. Jantans. Yep. Is that under your feet? Hmm? How do how, how you like that? So. You want to talk like that? So Allah put him in his place. But anyway, there he said, Mulku Misra, the kingdom of Egypt. Yeah. People that talk big, Allah then shows them how small they are. Yeah. That's scary. Scary thing. I, 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 just, and, uh, I don't like water. So, good. Yeah. But uh, I know we're seven minutes over, but one advice I'll give you, and I'll remind the kids yeah. watching too. Nowadays, you know, ba back when I used to play a lot of sports in the parks and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I used to play a lot of basketball. People talk big when they play basketball. Yeah. Right? A lot of smack talk and trash talk yeah. and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. And all of it boils down to either insulting somebody else mm -hmm. or how much inferior they are to you yeah. or praising yourself. Mm -hmm. And now people do that in video games. Mm -hmm. So while they're playing online, yeah. somebody's a sweat. That's what you call it, right? Somebody's yeah. a sweat. Mm -hmm. And somebody's like, um, what's the word? Raging you? What? Somebody's raging? Yeah, somebody's raging. Somebody's raging, right? They're, mm -hmm. they're making you angry. And they're oh, no, you're making them rage. Oh, oh, you're making them enraged. Yeah. Okay. So when you're doing that, you're basically doing one of two things. You're describing how great you are mm -hmm. and how easy it is for you to crush them. And, or how terrible they are, mm. right? Yeah. Both of those are, don't I alone own the kingdom of Fortnite? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. So we're training ourselves to praise ourselves and put others down. Yeah. Which is a quality of who? Uh, Fir'aun. Fir'aun. When that habit becomes common in video games mm -hmm. or in sports, yeah. then it slowly starts coming into other parts of your life. Yeah. And you start talking like that and thinking like that about mm -hmm. other people yeah. in school or among friends or yeah. in family or mm -hmm. when you start making money and you have a job, then mm -hmm. you the, that mentality comes into other things in yeah. your life. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you guys, when we played sports together, the kids and yeah. stuff before COVID, mm -hmm. remember I talked to you about bad sportsmanship? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. That you're not going to talk trash. You're not going to praise yourselves. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be insulting towards one another. Yeah. You're going to shake hands. You're going to, you know, these things. Yeah. Why? Because I don't want this kind of thinking. Mm -hmm. He owned the kingdom of Egypt, but somebody could say, I own this court. Yeah. Right? That's their little Egypt. <laughs> yeah. I don't want them to have a little Egypt. Because yeah. then Allah showed him how small he is, right? Yeah. We don't want Allah showing us that way. We can show Allah we know already. Yeah. We don't do that. We don't mm -hmm. you know, put ourselves in praising yeah. circumstances. Okay. I can't really do that anymore because I'm like hot trash at like any video game I play. So. Really? Yeah. Like I'm terrible. Hot trash? Yeah. Is that a thing now? Hot trash? <laughs> it just means you're bad. Like, I mean, I stopped playing for like a while, so like I'm bad now. But I used to be a sweat. I used to play video games. Now I teach Arabic. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. Everybody, Zakubullah Khair, and we'll pick up from where we left off. You have quite a bit of homework. That's page number, what is this? Uh, 17. 17. You got to destroy page number 17. And barakallahu li wa lakum. Fil Quran al Hakim. Fil Quran al Hakim. bil ayat wa al Hakim. Excellent job, both you and Maryam. Both Ahmed and Maryam. And excellent job, all of you. Keep up yeah. with the good work. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Stay strong.